once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of that ship was the Billy a T. The winds blew hard about it down. Blow me, bully boys, blow. <laughs> Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore, when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Ha! Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived down below. <laughs> Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was freed. The captain's mind was not on greed, but he belonged to the whale man's creed. She took that ship in tow. <laughs> Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack, then tight once more. All oh, boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut and, and the whale's not gone. The weller man makes his irregular calls to encourage the captain, crew and all. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go.
Hello. Howdy. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Howdy. I am here with with Jex and with Ranger Danger and their cat. Can y'all hear us okay? Yeah. Boy's eating. He's eating? Mm-hmm. Let me turn you up a little. Oh, I've turned you all the way up. Oh, well. Yeah, you got a whole ass dinner now, don't you, bud? Uh, I can try boosting myself. You um, want me to? I can turn down. I can turn down the game. I think it's um, a little loud. Okay. It's a little loud. And don't in my forget. Headphones. To... Okay, don't forget to check also in Discord the audio. Yeah, I need to stream to Discord too. So that's not the right button. Well, I mean, um, you, individuals in a in a voice channel, you I can did. change the audio. On. I already turned you all the way up. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, they're saying you're like way quieter than us. Okay. Okay. I turned myself up in the mixer. That should be good. Let me screen stream to Discord. Stream to the There. Okay. So I am switching to game. Here, we are in game. Can you hear the cat munch? I cannot hear the cat munch. He's not loud enough. <laughs> He's too quiet. My cat, my kitten is sleeping behind my computer, which is oh, very cute yeah. right now, but it means she's going to be a holy terror when I go to bed tonight. Fantastic. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know it. Ranger Day responding to the chat. Yeah, no, I see that. Yes, no, lo locusts are uh, quite common. <laughs> oh, you need to finish your food, bud. There's a spooky storm out there. Oh, okay. he saw your phone. That's why he's... <laughs> Are y'all y'all ready to start this game? Oh, let yeah. me get his favorite string toy in case he's distracted. One moment. Okay. Okay. In case he gets the sillies. Yeah, that happens. Oh, look at this, bud. Oh, sure. Yeah. I fed you and petted you. This uh, is my bed, don't you? Yes, that we both uh, got kittens. I got mine uh, Memorial Day weekend, and Jax got hers. When did y'all get yours? Uh, about two and a half weeks ago now. Found him at work. He's just a little baby. Yeah. He's a good little boy. We love him. He gets yeah. him the same time. He's ready to go now. All right, let's. We got the cat. We got the cats. Oh, we... I got my beer. <laughs> you got a beer? I gotta get my beer. <laughs> okay uh, as I mentioned the, in the chat earlier there is no backseating on this one uh, because I don't want people telling me my choices are bad and wrong I've had enough people accuse me of playing the game bad and wrong I don't want that so all my choices are perfect and good today as long you. as you kill that bastard easy Pete <laughs> <laughs> also uh I want you guys to be braced. I installed a few mods. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means I installed a few mods. Where are you going, little prowler? Let's, uh, let's go. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think it's there's like... any game on. Sorry? I don't, I don't hear any game on. Let me make sure my volume is adjusted properly. Yeah, no, we're not. Yeah. Unless we're getting caught. Oh, yeah, that's not Twitch. I maxed it out and I'm still hearing nothing. Let me... I don't know why that is. They, they hear Blue Moon? Yeah, they hear it. But Hmm. Um, have I have something. Never mind. Yes, outside. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, no, it's strange though that I can't hear. Um. Thomas the Tank Engine one. Hi, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Whenever I get up the the guts to play Skyrim, which will be never. Get the pony mod. I don't want the pony mod. I don't want to play Skyrim. Hey, well, my name is Rod Boward, and boy, do I have a game I think you'll enjoy. 
Can you like run around? Don't Somewhere big and desolate. Well, I, I have a game you like a lot. <laughs> I, I love how they announced uh, Skyrim 2 and they don't mention anything other than that. There's a Skyrim 2? Yeah. Elder Scrolls 6? I'm calling it Elder Scrolls 6 for some reason, but it's just gonna be Skyrim 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I seriously still can't hear anything. Um, I think if I tap away, it's gonna stop the game. As decades passed, mm, probably. So, let me get through the intro. I mean, I can hear you fine through Discord, yeah. so I'm assuming that, um... My my audio setup's correct. We can have our own narration over this, where mm -hmm. it's uh. As the Republic grew, we can just like play the MPS4 intro over this, so it's the antithesis. <laughs> uh, well, territory <laughs> and um, nah, I have to disagree. Yeah. There are bad choices in New Vegas. They returned with tales. There are. <laughs> I. There are bad choices in New Vegas, and I'm going to make all of them. <laughs> Liz, I know everybody has this intro ingrained in their minds, but that doesn't mean I don't want to hear it for the millionth and one time. I, I will argue that, that Emily and Linny haven't. I just like hearing Ron Perlman as opposed to John Video Game narrations. <laughs> Fallout the fourth. John Video Game. Brother John of Gordon Video Game. Like that, that, that's what killed me the most about Fallout 4, was that they, like, they didn't even have Ron Perlman come in. It's just like, oh, you completely let me down within the first five seconds of this booting. Okay. Why like, would they not get Ron Perlman? I, I don't know, it's not like he's expensive these days. It's not like they're, they spend that much money on voice talent for the game anyway. They're the biggest, the biggest build voice talent in the entire series is in this game, in, in New Vegas. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, and I know last time I played New Vegans, you talked about playing New Vegans, but you haven't played it a million times. You don't have the game cool. memorized. Oh, I do. I mean, yeah. I, I, she, she saw me uh, play New Vegas, <laughs> just like going through my regular routine up until you modded it and I just couldn't do that now. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, it's I'm a not, game. Nat, that so is fun. not the worst choice. That is not the worst choice we're, we're gonna make, Nat. We're not even, rain, hmm. I know exactly well, how I'm gonna play this. Exactly right, Joshua Graham. So obviously. Well, we can't. Joshua Graham and Big is, Boss did nothing wrong. We can't <laughs> fuck Joshua Graham, so we can't make the worst possible choice. That's true. That mod isn't installed, or is it? It is not installed. I don't have the energy for that mod. Yeah. We don't want to fuck Catholic Joshua Graham. No. Papist <laughs> Joshua oh. Graham. Hi. Thank you again for the sub. It's nice to have Sorry, you back. You twisted up in this scene. Lovely. From where you're kneeling mm. must seem like anyway, like this is the only time in the game, line. for those of you who haven't played it, this is the only time in the game that Benny appears this cool. The yeah, the rest of the time he's a dweeb. I don't think he looks cool even here. It's only that one uh, uh, comic that he looks good in. <laughs> His shoulders have shoulder pads! Like, it, it kills me because he's set up as like this villain initially, then you I come across him an absolute just jobber. Honestly, I, I kind of, I love it that he's set up to be like your big bad and then he just, you can smother him in his sleep. Yeah. I, are you sure, are you sure your Discord is set to pick up the game audio correct? Let me, let, okay, now that we are out of the cutscene, I can check that. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. That's what you're waiting yeah, for. But, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Don't, um, don't tempt me with me, Vegas, babe. You're right, you sneeze and it crashes. <laughs> okay, um, streamer mode... I don't mm. need your epic gamer girl mode. There you go. Okay, the thing is, I don't know how to make sure that it's. Don't you dare knock that sewing machine over. Don't you <laughs> dare. <laughs> it's not mine, is the thing. Um, thing. The thing is that I don't know how to change the um audio input in Discord. That's not my microphone. Hmm. Um, Are you let me... streaming by streaming your desktop or streaming an application? I'm streaming the game, the application. Oh yeah, because if you stream the desktop, we don't, we'd get echo. Um, hmm. I mean, you can stop it and start it again. See if yeah, that that's does what anything. I was, that's what I was about to do. Yeah. Salt. Salt. Oh. Salt high. What's salt high? I don't understand. Okay. I'm live now. 
Okay. Kitty. All right, we'll be right here when you come back, Kanate. Okay. Nah, get them still their snacks. Not. Let me double check Mafia one more time. It would be so weird if... Di I mean, I don't see how Discord could possibly out output the two different sources, but let me double check. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on. I, I, Liz, I still don't understand what you're saying to me. These are all nerd things that are beyond my kin. You say you're a fake nerd girl? I am a fake nerd girl, and I have the tattoos to prove it. <laughs> Kitty. Oh, What's someone, she doing? someone gave me bits? Thank you. I don't know what those do. They're just like bobs. They, they come with kibbles. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, Liz, I didn't do Battlestar Galactica. I wasn't allowed to watch Battlestar Galactica. Hmm. And now I'm not interested in it. Here's my kitten. Everybody look at her. It could be me. Let me leave the Discord and come back. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I'll be here. I'm showing off my kitten. Oh, good. We got our cat right here. Hell He's yeah. Playing. Say hi, Jello. No, don't swat on my hand. Oh, Moira. Boy. Moira, you can stay if you're going to be sleepy on my desk, but if you're not, you have to sit in my lap. Detained. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, we have the J Sawyer mod to start out with, which is probably my the mod I get the most use out of, uh, simply for the karma balance, because I, like I said, I make bad decisions in this game. Uh, and there's no way I end up neutral. Um, ah, okay. Come back later when you haven't died. Um, let's see, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Jay Sawyer's a pretty good mod. Um, it makes the game harder, but not too hard for me. Um, because I'm bad at video games. You sound um, like the game that has Okay, I'm going to click through. Talk to certified good man, Doc Mitchell. How about that? He's talking. Yeah, no. Whoa, it, nothing? Let me try to turn- easy. let me try turning the game up. Game audio up. Because I- I mean, the stream can hear you, but I swear it's 100% silent. I'm looking at my audio mixer, uh -huh. and there's nothing coming in from it. Is it going through the TV? There's no way, because I'm looking at the mixer. Everything okay. should be coming through the uh, the puck. Try it through the TV. No, because then we'll get the echo. It, all our audio has to come from the puck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just Still nothing. Mm. Get your bear. Still not. That's so strange. I swear you've streamed in New Vegas before. I haven't streamed you, New Vegas. You haven't? Hmm. But you've streamed other people, New yep. Vegas. I have, just on Twitch. What is your audio setup right now? Like, how are you getting audio for both the stream and... Like I thought you were gonna call yourself Jules Verne for a minute. Nope. Shh. This is this is this is bad. This is this, this is, is terrible. Yeah. Um. My audio setup is just. I mean. It's. Yeah, I, we can live without it. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we we can live without it. No, no worth. Not not worth it. Spend the next three hours okay. trying to fix yeah, it. Yeah, that's for, fair. For another, another stream, we'll um, we'll get it fixed. Run a yeah. test stream. Yeah. yeah. It's not like we don't have the beginning part of this game memorized anyway. It's true. And like, I'm the one who needs the audio cues because I'm playing it, but y'all are fine. You you need to know when there's geckos coming up on you. We, I sure we do. Are, like, again, I, I have this game committed to memory it's myself. Almost as hard as I do RE4. Hey, so, oh gosh. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good like, now, oh, an RE2 I remake. Mm -hmm. I, I, I keep thinking it's like I should S rank that one of these days, but I'm like, I take pride man, in needlework. I don't know if I, if I could like if take I the extra time to do that because I'm, I'm currently in the middle of a a Wasteland three run. And I yeah. need to get back Rogue Tech because the new season for that's dropping, and I need to fight for House Steiner. Keep <laughs> those pirates, curatons, and other assorted weirdos off my doorstep. What was the preset I? 
went off of for her. I think it was just the... You used a preset for her? You mean we're not going to spend a whole hour just going no. over custom... I used a preset... Kind of, Maybe. but like, like I like changed it enough. Yeah, no. Oh, do you see us tapping something? So you think you must play with it? Uh oh. If you get hung up on suddenly, it's because the cat touched the puck. Oh, yeah. okay. He's um, mischievous. I'm gonna try not to spend an hour on character creation, but I do have to make sure my girl looks right. Yes. You should have had a save ready. I should have. I should have been doing that all day today instead of going to work. Oh. Well, it's not like there's no such thing as console commands where you can edit this later or anything. Yeah. But no, I... no, you, you pop outside of Goodsprings, it's the last time you'll ever be able to tamper with the character. Exactly. Um... We're playing on Xbox 360. That was how I played... No! I played it on PC first. Sorry. Crisis Averted. Oh, you did? Yeah. I thought you were console first. Wait, Wait no, no, you played on... Because you did it with your frickin'... With my trackpad, baby! Like an animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did it twice well, with my trackpad. Hi, Cody. Kenop oh yeah. No, Canopus is a good choice too. You get them cat girls, Space Vegas, oh, and the the crate. Uh, just being a periphery culture, they're just absolutely wild. You said cat girls. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to that. They got stuff. genetically modified cat girls because. Because of they, course they like, do. They have a particular industry with, I... with that caters to particular people, particular tastes. Degenerate. Perfect. I yeah, thought we have boost. for sure I had her hair oh, already yeah, loaded. Like her hair. hair already loaded in here. I'm so yeah. embarrassed about this. She won't have her hair. I mean, she was just shot in the head. Her hair might not be perfect. I'm so she embarrassed. Doc Mitchell is such a good barber. Yep. <laughs> Along with scratching posts. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh no. Not a cat girl stra uh, scratching post. Anything but that. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I'm like, yeah. Stop that. <laughs> no. Don't stop it. I'm sorry. Creating your culture here, Jello. I love you. That kitten's name is Jello, by the way. It's short for Jello Biafra. Don't dox him like that. <laughs> I'm doxing Jello Biafra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so unhappy with how she looks, but this is what we're gonna have to do because I'm not spending yeah. three hours on that, this. That's, that's the new Vegas character creator in a nutshell, honestly. No, I had her look cute. Well, I, got most mm -hmm. of it right I had her anyway. look cute on my, some of my runs. I'll post screenshots okay. of her no sense on Twitter or something. So just so you know, uh, I, I play for House Steiner because I like gigantic Good. space German bucks Why don't you walk and also, like, Having a scout lance comprised entirely of Take it assault mechs. Now. It ain't a race. <laughs> Didn't share his last name. Yeah. His last name is Biafra. Kitty. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. <laughs> no, basically. <laughs> okay. No, um... it's it, it's funny because I'm one of the few people on the the Discord server for the the Steiner faction. Like, there's a few Germans on there. And I don't interact with as many people. I tend to lurk a lot. But I'll go through and I'll read through stuff. And it's like, huh, I can tell what they're saying. <laughs> they don't know it. But you know, you actually know German. Yes. Much better reading it than anything else, but... Where's where's her luck? You have to tank oh, it. Oh, I, I did tank it. It's at three. Oh, God. Man, I played a high luck run once and it felt weird. Didn't like it. <laughs> Why? Too much stuff. Like, just finding, like, magazine upon magazine of ammo and, like, getting rare drops for guns. I'm like, this isn't fun. I don't want to scrimp by until I become, like, an, uh, a turbo chad, like, three quarters of the way through the game. And then I go to the Sierra Madre and, and I'm reminded of my place in the world. That's a surprising okay. amount of charisma. She, listen, backstory reasons. Oh, oh. Why is it because of her night oh, sure. uh, being a woman of being yes. a woman of the night? Yeah, she has to have some charisma. At least a little. 
Got to get those good rates. I was about I was about to ask you, <laughs> you know my daughter better than anyone else. But does this look right? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. She does have that crackhead strength. Let's see. Um... <laughs> uh, excuse me. She does meth. <laughs> Sorry, meth strength. Oh, that's it. That, no, that's speed. <laughs> it's, more it's like a flash. She, she can't punch terribly hard, but she can move quick enough that basically is a hard punch. <laughs> The intelligence seems awfully high. She oh, is a... that because of her technical skills? Yeah. She can spread away on a technicality there. Yeah. Quote unquote technical skills. She does She's have technical part... skills. Great, great lube jobs. <laughs> <laughs> In another life, she would have been like a mechanic or something. She doesn't have ambition. That's the one thing she lacks. Yeah. Until, you know, some Until... crazy dictator who reminds her of her, like, mommy issues shows up. Uh, so mommy more, and daddy uh, issues. I'll have to be, like, roids, if I recall. I did that in, like, testosterone. Yeah, buff out, buff out his roids. Yeah. Had to change all their names for this game where you could blow off somebody's lower body. But <laughs> don't worry. There's a mod for that installed. Oh, there's oh, real drugs? Goodness. There's real drugs in here. Oh, I'm so excited to see her actually be a man. Wow, this is basic. This is... Basically postal at this point. Okay, I'm I'm calling this good. She's good. Get your health pipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, she has that I high endurance because she's fucking unstoppable. Do you have two bears high fiving mod? I. <gasps> that's the one I forgot. Oh my god, I knew I forgot one. No. Okay, your stream canceled. It's not playable. Cancel me. I forgot two bears high fiving. Your dogs are still barking. Ugh. You're done. You're done, Missy. <laughs> I'm done with you right now. All right. I'm call the cyber police on you. <laughs> and the chief police. Snark. Dog. <laughs> Look at the disappointment on Doc Mitchell's face. <laughs> he's analyzing your psyche now, and it Ouch. sucks. The reason he doesn't ask you for the two bears high fiving is because he's like, they, this person cannot comprehend this. <laughs> Trying to answer these in character, but it doesn't matter. Light. Sometimes we just ruin everything, and that's okay. I mean, that's just okay. Jules's whole life. I what? Mean, what is? She ruins everything. Jules's life. Oh she yeah, she everything. really does. She ruins First everything. One. She colossally fucks up everything. What does she not colossally fuck up? I ain't given to rely on others cat. for support. Our cat's just chilling. I'm you know, it doesn't matter the center of attention. what these answers are. I'm going to uh, just click through and then reassign as well as I will. Yeah, as long, like, I've never quite gotten the reasoning on, like, the the inkblot ones. I know the ones with the, the actual scenarios. I understand that easily it's enough. It's supposed to be diegetic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, what matters is melee, unarmed, yeah. and science. You just go through and tag skills anyway, so it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was that whole thing about Jules getting like a kitten at some point. When in the story was that? No, she got a puppy. A puppy? It was a puppy? I thought it was a kitten. Yeah, Arthur gave her and her fiance a puppy. Oh, that's right! Out of like spite. Yeah, but then they ended up loving it and they named it Herbert. Yeah, that's right. Don't. After Herbert West, right? Herbert West reanimator, yes. Yes. There you go. Don't. Attack the Infamous hair. lover at Herbert West. <laughs> it was a dog. Yes, exactly. Hates cats, loves dogs. Oh. <laughs> I haven't actually seen Reanimator all the way through. Oh, you should. Oh, I know I should I know I should. Movie. It harms my goth cred. Yeah. What's wrong Before with you? I, you loose, I, I fell asleep. From you. It was college. Ouch. Form for you to feel out. Ouch. Ouch, I, I remember the first amazing. time I watched uh, Reanimator, I was just glued to the screen because it was like, it's just like on Netflix one day. Um, Back when just, Yeah, no, I'm just like, oh, this looks cool. So I watched it and I'm like, yo, this is just, I, I hadn't seen a movie quite like that yet. So I, I actually have From Beyond on my computer. I need to watch that too because that's also a stop adapted HP Lovecraft work by the same director. Hmm. But instead of the color being green, it's pink now. Hey. I'm trying to get my kitten to stop playing with my cords and attacking my hair. Um, 
I cannot remember what her other trait was. I know she had one. Face. We're watching our was... kids. Oh. I think it was hot blooded. Right. Hot blooded sounds right. I usually pick skilled, but I don't think that was the one I picked for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, my, mine are always uh, right. Wild Wasteland and Trigger Discipline. Come no, me, we are not life. doing Wild Wasteland. She is not the character for Wild Wasteland. Her life is wild enough. E even though she's drugged out? Yeah. She, she's plenty wild without that. She, she's the only one lucid enough from all the math. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my run Lord. speed is really fast. Was all you had on you, Why? I don't, I don't know, I because on one of my other files, it's look. really I slow. It help me find an extra <laughs> but and I don't want to question New Vegas. Well, because of a I'm not going to zoom. I'm going to zoom. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog ass, Jules over here. It's the match. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you Yeah, so we're not gonna have any version of Two Bears high fiving now. Aww. Wait, why wouldn't I meet Two Bears high fiving? Because Two Bears high fiving. Oh, right, because he's in Wild Wasteland. Yeah, that's right. And she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Hey, Felt it was too brave. Doc Mitchell, you're so good and kind. I want to touch your belly, but you're not going to let me do yeah. that, are you? Try not to get Did anything horrible anymore. happen to Doc Mitchell in ROU? No. Good. He was he cool. was fine. He and Mira right. worked together. They were if chilling. I, if I recall correctly, because she was three fourths of a doctor. Yeah. yeah. My other favorite SC, everyone. <laughs> I gotta click through the 30 mod yeah. and like, DLC messages. Nothing like breaking the pace of the game. Like ruining this opening shot. Right? Like one of the most beautiful establishing shots of, in all the video games. Basically. Makes me miss, like, actual good springs. I can't wait to go back. I We're probably going either. To... I want to go too. <laughs> I want to just go back and redo that road trip. Yeah, but better this time. That'd be fun. Come and talk I'd do to that. Me. Talk to me, Victor. Howdy, partner. Howdy, Might partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Can't say that I'm familiar with the <clears throat> Some of the fine folks in So, are we going to tell the the chat about Jules's backstory? I. I don't know where to start. Uh, have we started trouble, Fallout with you? <laughs> yeah, have you played Fallout 2? That's where our backstory starts. <laughs> we have to go back a ways. Um. Okay, her grandmother is. Uh. She's. That's right, we have to go back a ways. So we have to go the... way back. Um, okay. So there is a line in. New Vegas, where you're um, recruiting for the tops, I believe, and you go and find someone in Novak, and he says something like, um, did Mr. Bishop oh. send you? Yeah, Silas Bishop. Was and like, so that, like, so Mr. Bishop, Mr. Bishop, his name is not okay. canonically Silas, it's just Mr. Bishop. Um, oh, okay, alright. We gave him I name. named him Silas. I named him after an old TV show that I and nobody else watched. Um, What's it called? It was, Wait, which it was on NBC. It was called Kings. It was like a modern retelling of uh, the story of David from the Bible. And it was oh. really cool. And um, Ian, Mc Ian McShane was in it. And he played the king, Silas Benjamin. And he was fucking great. And nobody else watched the show except for me. Uh, that's okay. I know you have a niche taste. But anyway, all right. So, I Mr. Sure Bishop. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Bishop. Um is the leader of the bishop crime family in new reno and i'm gonna yeah, do this tutorial while we talk yeah. because i've done this 500 times yeah um, you can do this in your yeah um so mr bishop had had a girlfriend when he was like 14 15 named yeah. eliza and eliza got knocked up and ran away to nipton which is just over that away now see the yep. bottles on the fence there? and that kid that she had is Jules, my beloved, my terrible mm -hmm. worst OC, whom I love till my dying day. Mm -hmm. That's the right yeah. Look down the sight. Start crouching down and see. Nice shot. Well, uh, that's a start. Don't worry. But I don't. Um. So yeah, Eliza. 
She oh, she has the bastard she's child of Mr. South Bishop, who himself is the chosen one's bastard, which is pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, exactly. But long lines of bastardom. It's a generational thing. But anyway, so she runs away to Nipton to get rid of because she she doesn't want to bear the child of a, of of the crime lord family because she's like, oh, that's not what I signed up for, right? Yeah, right. She's like, no, I just wanted like a normal life. I love my boyfriend, but I didn't sign up for this. Also, I'm 15. Yeah, she's <laughs> 15. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so Jules grows up in Nipton, which is a shithole, as we all know. But it's my yeah. shithole. But her mom loves her. Her mom loves her to death. Would do anything for her. She loves her mom. Would yeah. do anything for her. Becomes and then her mom starts having seizures. Her mom starts having seizures, and um, she dies before they can get any medical help. Um... I should blame the NCR for that or something about that. Like that. We got some yeah, the and NCR, like, the whole thing with Nipton is that, like, Seems like, the NCR, like, won't help them. They're just kind of there for the hookers. Yeah, so she can't get medical help, mm -hmm. and her mom dies of a horrible okay. brain tumor. Mm-hmm. Go give him that. So, right? Mm -hmm. See yeah. where it's going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so Jules, being 18 and unable to fend for herself, starts taking drugs. And then to pay yeah. for that drug, she starts hooking. She's a whore. <laughs> Jane DeVito voice. Whore. 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 She's also <laughs> shitting guns, which is canon. Um, mm -hmm. As we're exhibiting now. There you go. Lex tries to help her later, but it only goes so yeah. far. Yeah. So, um, Jules eventually gets cleaned up because the followers of the apocalypse, including one, Arcade Ganon, who you all know and love comes through. Yeah. They save oh, her life. Oh, you, forgot arcade. you forgot it was oh. Arcade? No, I just remembered that and the horrible, horrible thing she does. What's your beautiful Arcade? Take a guess. Take a flying... Take a run Take a flying... Call him a slur. No, no. take another... What's she the worst many, thing you can do? Jules is many things, but she is not home of phobic. She is bi. Homophobic. <laughs> she is not home of phobic. <laughs> Take a What's the worst thing you can do to arcade in this game, Ranger? <laughs> wait, wait. Them. Let's leave them in suspense before till when we get right. there in the actual story. All right, right, right. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of because I've never, I've Keep never thinking. fucked with arcade Ganon much. I like him. I like my snarky medic. Yeah. Keep I thinking. understand. Let's go. Let's go. So okay. wait, now Jules. knows. Jules. Now knows. <laughs> um. He Okay, and then she starts doing some courier work for more yeah, drug money, does, right? Yeah, she does some courier work um, for, you know, drug money and love and life money, you know. Um, she catches feelings for another another courier. Oh, right. Come here. Um, Come here, chef. Right. I love him. I love him. Yeah. He's, He's one of my guy. OCs who I just look at and go, I love you. He's so good. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> um, let me check the map and see where I'm actually supposed to go. Um, she starts careering to try and get out of the hooker life, right? Yeah, she no. They get her out of the hooker life, clean her up, and some fix her, and then they hook her up. They hook her up with um, the um, people in Prim who run the Mojave Express. Yeah, she I use my own fan fiction. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so, so then uh, she, oh, um, she. Ditches the guy she catches feelings for after he says, I love you. Um, yeah, because she, she ghosts him. He's like, I love him. you. She ghosts she's him. <laughs> she, she ghosts him. Um, like, for fuck's sake, man. Yeah. You're getting on the street, Arrow. You're in a stable relationship. And the dude is like, I love you. And your reaction is, nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, cool. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. He doesn't have to go. That's um, rough, buddy. Does she think like exactly. oh, probably that's right. that's take advantage rough, of me or something? Huh? Yeah. What? She thinks she thinks like because she's so fucked up. Every time somebody said they love her, it was like some drug druggie or like somebody just wanting her for sex or something. So when she hears that, she's like, "Goodbye." Uh, something like that. I haven't really delved into her psych her psychology in a while. I need. I want to. Um. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. and then she takes a courier job delivering something to the Las Vegas Strip and gets shot in the head. Yep. And she gets shot in the head and now here we are. Here we are. I guess I was supposed to go back to Sunny this whole time. See? 
Probably. I'm getting the hang of <laughs> Just give me. Should've, just I'm I should have just ended the tutorial. God. Um. Just give yeah. me a knife. Just give me a big knife. Um. So, anyways, that's where we are now, as of right now. Yeah. She so... has half a brain. It's a little scrambled. Yep. She lost some of her memories, which she's upset about. Yeah, that's right. She's a partially amnesiac. Yep. Drugs will do that. Drugs wasn't even the drug. <laughs> not in the head will do that. But Double she's, whammy. She's on a vengeance quest now. She's gonna fucking kill this Benny guy. This is your brain. This is your brain on a jacketed 9mm. <laughs> 15 grain. Where did she go? She was doing like her left, I thought. No? She goes kind of out and around because there's like the second place. I just jumped the cliffs to go help that person. Oh, hi! Thank you for the follow, Danny Retro Master. I appreciate it. Come watch me be bad at New Vegas. Well... Need some drugs to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all do. So, uh, are we gonna keep talking about Jules, or are we just gonna go along? Well, do you want to talk about Lex for a little bit? Sure. Let's give the Lex backstory as you go go through a bit oh, more with um work. yeah uh, getting Jules up to speed. So, yeah. Uh, if right we talk about Lex, I have to talk about her cousin Arthur. Oh, oh, in Ranger Danger no here, I have a real cultural father. consultant now who can correct me on Mormon okay. stuff. Okay, okay. Well, you don't. You just have to talk about Arthur. We can we can get to the other stuff later. I'll just, I'll just mention him briefly. I'm mm -hmm. an accredited cultural consultant. I own a 1911 and a Book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're the real deal. Oh yeah, yeah. but um, so Lex. Uh, Jessica Timberly Lexington. Spell Timberly uh, for me? T-Y-M-B-E-R-L-E-I-G-H. -T -E Timberly. <laughs> That's a hate crime. <laughs> I know exactly why you spelt it like that. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> no, okay. Do I have to wear the holy undies? <laughs> no, Granger Danger does not wear garments. I, I never... So, never did. <laughs> Do you even know anybody who wears garments? Uh, aside from, like, the really Mormon right? folks and, like, old folks. Like, there, there's always, like, like, the tier of Catholicism that your cousin's on. We're wearing a veil in church. Yeah, yeah. Th that's, that's, that's the tier of Mormonism one would need to be on to be wearing the, uh, the garments otherwise. That's fair. But anyway, it's, it's optional. what level of mm -hmm. Mormonism are you on? <laughs> <laughs> the John Moses Browning and Orrin Porter Walk Rockwell level. <laughs> but anyway, so Lex grows up in Marysvale, Utah. Middle of nowhere joint, real nice and cute. Kind of a fairly idyllic life. This is in kind of south, south, uh, southern Utah. Yeah. Um, near the border almost. So she's, uh, she's chilling, growing up. How old was she? Seven when everything happened? Yeah, they were seven. Oh, she... They were seven, alright. So anyway, she lives a good life. She's got a big family, but there's a, you know, there's like a gap between her and her siblings, so she's more, she's she's, she's closest got... with her cousin Arthur, who's the same age as her. Anyway, they grow up pretty fine, and, uh, uh, one day it's quite sudden, you know, the Legion comes, because that was part of, uh, Caesar's initial, um, uh, campaign into utah to um what are you looking at i'm trying Sorry. to find my my character's uh backstory oh yeah he has a character too U utah carol hey, but anyway bad, um see? so yeah the legion the comes kills the, right. the whole family burns down the town and uh 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 she and her cousin are like fire nation attack yeah basically <laughs> she and her cousin are carted off together to the same slave camp and for a year there, they kind of, like, try and stick together and survive while her cousin's being trained as a, as a legionary and she's a slave. And uh, uh, at one point, you know, like, they, they, they sneak out in the middle of the night to pray together, you know, to ask God why this happened. And, and uh, at one point, he actually helps her escape. Mm -hmm. And so she's eight years old and she escapes the slave camp. What? What is he doing? <laughs> Nobody knows the deep lore. <laughs> oh, understand the reference. But anyway, um, uh, she runs off, and then she 
you know, does like petty theft and stuff to get along until uh, a member of the anti Legion resistance. Um, the Gauls. <laughs> <laughs> the anti Legion resistance. She tries to pickpocket them, but they take pity on her. And it's like a it's like a, a sect of like Native American resistance fighters that are trying to keep their land, right? And and they like Where whereabouts is this this is all like southwestern Utah, right? Southwest well that's where Utah. it started. Which... Where did they get up to? Like did She they... was car- they were coming off to like Nevada. Or no they not were Nevada. A little um, bit in Nevada. They Nevada. were a little bit in Arizona, I thought. Yeah. It was like southern Arizona or something like that. That they were Trying to think of what native tribes are around there, but but we said Navajo. Navajo. Yeah. Navajo is closer to like the Four Corners area. No, oh, maybe. So I that think... that's like closer to the northern corners. Uh, Lord, they moved. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I think I think like, what happened Navajo. was that you had her in like Navajo area because like that was something you would have researched. That is something I would have researched. I don't recall. You're right. Wherever's closest to Navajo territory, they had set up a legion camp, and um. Uh, I, I tried to be as respectful as possible about it. You know, I'm, I'm running a fan fiction. I can't, like, actually hire a, cu- a culture consultant. I would if I could, because that'd be cool, because I'd get, like, really legit information. But I did curse you. with one, basically. I did, I did, I did, um, uh, uh, you know, b- at least a bare minimum research. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, she's involved. She, she is involved for a little bit with the resistance group, and they're like, hey, Let's try and take well, care of this poor lost child a little bit. She's got no one. Got but Lex is like super about like, oh, you wanna you wanna have your own cultural determination? Well, I'm Mormon and we're all about Sound fighting like... against people oppressing us. So I want to go Virgin's kill the hell out of the Legion. Remember, she's eight, and they're like, oh right. honey, Fellow please don't. There and avoid but <laughs> they literally can't stop her. So when she's like, what, like ten, eleven, she gets her first kill on a Legionary or something like that, mm-hmm. and like they keep trying to stop her. But it, it doesn't it doesn't work, and I think eventually she it, just like runs off and becomes kind of I, like a rogue I, agent for them. Like they know they can't really stop her, and they don't condone careful. what she's doing. But they're not they they can't really go out and stop her. So she's she's uh, uh gets known as Arsenic Lexington because she <laughs> she really loves violence and uh, it poisons the water supply. She's uh, a big of, fan like, of poison. poison. She's a really big fan of poison. Um. And and that's how she helps stop Legion advance. She just fucking wipes out their settlements that way. You know, it doesn't matter who, uh, but she she wipes them out. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, she's doing resistance fighting for a while. You know, basically she's a child soldier of her own of her own fucked up choice and uh, hates the Legion. Really hates the Legion. And Which she sounds that- like she's horrible. But the thing, the thing to keep in mind is that she ends up being she she appears to be very like well adjusted. She's very amicable. She's funny. She's pleasant to be around. And she loves on puns. face value, yeah, she loves puns. At face value, she she seems to be like a really well centered moral person. But at the that same part time, scorpion just rolled up on you. It really <laughs> fucking did. Give me a knife. Give me a knife. I'm gonna go sell this gun. Please. Straight up just turned around and was like, hello. <laughs> right, right. She seems good natured and moral and very religious, but then she's going off poisoning these whole towns. But anyway, um, that's 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 the story of Lex's like bubble buddy. <laughs> just like bubble buddy. Yeah, that's 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 Lex's fucked up tragic past. So the whole the whole idea with her that when I first was writing her was like how how horrible can I make a character while also making her on the surface be like likable and like somewhat sympathetic? So just keep that in mind as you listen to Lex, because as I describe her, I have to keep stopping myself because I have to remind people that if you if you saw how she was written and how she generally acts, you'd be like, she's chill. But, you know, then she goes and poisons whole towns. Also, she learned, she learned how to torture people for information because she was captured by the Legion several times and was also brutally tortured. Tons of fun. There's no um, knives in here. There's just a cleaver. Name. That's a knife. You're right. Take the <laughs> shovel. I do need the shovel. Yeah, that's correct. I'm with you, Ray Rob. That 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 sounds like something Jules would do. She would, you. would. Take it easy now. Um. Man, my 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 runs in Good Springs are always like sneaky dick mode because I just go around and steal a bunch of stuff, and then like my karma goes through the floor. <laughs> and I spend basically the rest of the game bringing my karma back up. <laughs> what it not? What is the chances knife run? I don't know what that is. I'm a fake nerd girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
yeah, so what what's next oh, no. to be addressed? Oh. Hmm? In you, our so AU. you go play weapon through death pod territory? I'm not oh, walking God. through death pod. Oh, 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 the Kaz oh that one. I'm not walking through death claw territory. Nah. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, the Kazador death nest. Okay, sorry. Oh, really good early game knife, huh? Hmm. Interesting. No. Pro strat. But you, I... you were saying uh, things that need to be addressed? Yeah, I'm trying to think yeah. of like, what we need to do next to lay the groundwork. God damn AU. So, yeah, Lex Lex is uh, Lex is going around hunting the Legion. She eventually makes her way to the Mojave to do anti-Legion horrible terrorism. Um, well, she, she's, she's both, like, feared, but at the same time becomes almost like a folk hero in certain ways. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Jul Jules is out here fucking stuff up. Um, yeah. are we gonna- when are we gonna discuss Jules- Jules meets the Legion? Yeah, um, I was gonna do that when we got to nip down, but that might- that still might be a little while out. Yeah. I can mm -hmm. kind of run it, though. That's, that's the Always Sunny title card. Jules meets the Legion. <laughs> it's just- the cold open is just her going, Man, I got shot in the head. My life is really fucked up. I kind of need to get this sorted out. Jules meets the Legion. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't know that bit of lore, Nate. Uh, the cons getting ditched over by those castors. I thought he followed them all the way to Boulder City, oh, and then did that. But... That's cool. The gang meets the legion. <laughs> well, you see, there's a third member of the gang. <clears throat> oh, yes, but we have to of the DK crew. <laughs> of the DK crew. <laughs> I forgot to go grave robbing, but it's okay. I really just want to get to Nipton. It's my favorite part of the whole game. Mm -hmm. Leader of the pack. You know gonna, her. Hold on. I'm going to take these ears off for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then chat is seeing you put on my other ears. I didn't finish my run. It's finally time to commit war crimes. There. Yeah. <laughs> get that nice uh, wolf chat, hat. Chat has just seen me put on my dog head. Oh yeah. Show me. I show you. Wait, did you say wolf hat? I thought you just put something on. No, my dog no. hat. In real life, I'm wearing my dog hat. You're wearing the cosplay item in real life. Yes. We we can't see that, but cool. That's all right, I'm wearing my finger hoodie right now. It's like my my favorite piece of outerwear. Yeah, he has a he has a he has a NCR themed hoodie. I wish I had more excuses to wear my Legion gear. Find some but costume parts. They all live one. so far where, away. Where the dog hat? Walmart or something. Go to a furry convention. Walmart don't care. <laughs> but yeah. So it's gonna be a minute till we get to Nipton. Do you want? Do you want to start in on um, what happens when Jules goes to Nipton? Yeah. Okay. So she's from Nipton. Uh, as from you can Nipton. imagine, that uh, she doesn't exactly have fond memories of it because um, she no. almost she grew up there. She, you know, so your typical hometown teenage emo angst. Um, she had a really bad couple of years there after her mom died. She almost died there herself a couple times. Um, and so, mm. when she gets to Nipton, God, I really can't walk any faster than this, can I? Um, I what, happened, already what happened to my Sonic the Hedgehog speed? I don't know. You don't have a sprint mod? No, I don't have the sprint mod. It fucked up my computer last time I tried it. Well, that's really surprising. That's what would happen to mine, too, remember? It's okay, because it was, okay! Was it, like, Project Nevada that had the main sprint mod that most people used, but Project oh, Nevada was God. really tough? It was probably the Project Nevada one. Yeah, if you if there's separate sprint mods that don't suck. Okay, I'll have to get one for next time. Just like I'll have to mod her beautiful hair. And... Yeah, I'm clearly. so upset about. It. She has a cute little bob, and I yeah, <sighs> fucking it's not there. Anyways, so um, gets to Nipton and sees the smoke kind of coming up 
from from the houses in the distance and she's like oh i gotta go check that out she's like nice she's like hell yeah <laughs> nice um so she goes checks it out sees um a bunch of people crucified and she's like oh oh uh oh oh whoa what's this? <laughs> a worm a worm <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey fuck off, NCR. Off um, she also fucking hates the NCR, as Don't say you mentioned born. earlier. Yeah, because they did nothing for her in Nipton. They did nothing. <laughs> Man, you think the Mojave Outpost has brain surgeons? <laughs> she doesn't no. know that. She doesn't know the blame. Nipton is just broke, and the NCR never sent any help to them. They Man, And they were... They were broke, they were run over by bandits, they were being extorted by the mayor. Um, well, how many outposts doesn't even have an actual, like, medic on site? Yeah. Thought about that. They don't, NCR, have, any, they don't have any medical so the moral personnel of this, there. The moral of this story is the NCR sucks. Um, <laughs> anyways, I have to do some fancy footwork to get around these I things. Mine then. Alright, so... I don't know why that. No! That was hilarious. I like the NCR. NCR is great. Fuck the NCR. I like the sickest aesthetic in the wasteland. Fuck the NCR. You don't have bags or nothing, do you? <laughs> See, th this is what happens when we talk shit on the NCR. Bad things happen. Yeah, really. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Shoot me? Oh, I'm not gonna do anything but the mines. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't no, like a not. that wasn't like a you you. That was like a NCR you know like a general you, and all y'all and all y'all <laughs> instead of a y'all. <laughs> anyway, anyways, so um, rolls up the nifted, sees up, people on crosses. Sees people on crosses. She's and and this weird gold bull on a on a red flag, and she's like, oh well, I gotta see who did this. Um, wow, this bull has a suspiciously well-modeled dick. Oh! Oh, fuck. Okay. You know what? Oh, no. Time for my favorite. You're cheating? Mm -hmm. I always cheat. Oh! I like how you made her small with that skill. I did, I yeah. I forgot to do that at first. Oh. Hold on. Oh, god. I forgot it. Oh! Play I remember like, it. Play. Play for real. No, I will not! <laughs> See, what I do is I commit stolen valor and I take the NCR armor in that tent because it has the highest armor value in the game. I ain't wearing this that point. tent. Yeah, because nobody else is in there. Nobody's watching. It's free. Jules using that crackhead strength. <laughs> yep. I've used yeah, that you know, before games. Don't tell me. A sniper fight with these guys. Woohoo! Go for it. She's so I'm little. Watching... Gosh, she's so small. Hi, <laughs> hi, Cyber Glock. Something die on your head. <laughs> um, this is my, this is my Vexillarius helmet. Oh, I'm referencing. That. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's her, her Legion standard fursuit. Yep, standard, you know. standard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um. Anyways, um, so. Rounds the corner in Nipton after going, oh shit, I should see what's up about this shit, crucifying all these people I hated. Um, also, the corpse of the mayor is burning on a pile of tires. I do want you guys to notice that when we get there. Um, it's great. Oh god, that would be so bad if that happened, Kanate. No worries. <laughs> Don't you worry. That doesn't oh my god. Can I, take it back. Nat, take it back. Nat, take it back. <laughs> take it back or I'm going to block you. I'm not going to block you. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, that doesn't happen. Mate speaking it into reality as as we are sitting no. here. No, she see, no. rounds the corner, sees <laughs> Wolfface, and goes, "Oh, so you did this shit?" And he's like, "Fuck yeah, I did." He doesn't curse though. I think that was a character trait I gave he, he him. He doesn't He says, "Frick yeah, I did." <laughs> yes, I <laughs> did this thing. I think did I'm trying to remember. You, Wolfface, of kind of Wolfface is like my adopted OC. I'm trying to remember if that's a character trait I gave him. Um. That he doesn't curse. Sure. Do. Um. Well, I but so she's like, "Oh shit, cool." So who are you with? And he's like, "Caesar's Legion." And she's like, "I gotta go find out more about this Legion." And he's like, "Sure, tell me more." Sure, sure, Dan. <laughs> um, they hate each other. They hate each other from day one. Don't worry about it. 
She's she's just another disgusting profligate. Yeah, and um, he found the mayor's quite detailed journal when, in which she was mentioned, and when she says her name, he's like, "Oh, that one." Well, for that, that uh, slut. That slut. No, Nat, take it back. Nat, he has no sex. Wolfis has no sex. He he's an incel. Him. Except for with uh, Clem's OC, but that's also fucked that's up a and long kind way of down the line. That's a long. That's well, that's a long way. It takes decades later. It takes him decades. It takes him decades, and also we would need we would need we would need Clem in here to talk about our case. I'm not. I'm not. We don't need Clem for this. Maybe maybe next session we can get Clem in on this. I'm not talking about Tartuf without Clem here. Yeah, we need we need Clem here for Tartuf. We should do that next stream. <laughs> It's gonna take like five streams for us to get through a whole OU anyway. <laughs> um, I haven't even talked about my stuff yet. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like totally unrelated because I didn't develop this at the same time you guys were. Mm -hmm. This is um, just. Like, so, shoehorn your character in somewhere. Yeah, yeah we have shoe we've shoehorned in enough characters. Didn't we shoehorn in mm -hmm. um, Star's characters too? Oh yeah, we did. Her um her boy. Yeah. Who is um? Hmm. Wally. Yeah. Ooh, who are they bastard children of? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> what are you doing like Josh one damage? For weren't they Joshua? Here? Weren't they Joshua's? Oh, were they? Oh yeah. That's yeah. right. I think that was the case. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. Man, <laughs> Joshua wouldn't fuck. Oh no, he fucked. Joshua plenty. fucks. He fucks more than he should. He's a good highest <laughs> kind of man. <laughs> um, that's right. We we just kept slurping up OCs into our continuity. We did. If anybody we... got their OC slurped up into our OU, let us know. We're probably yeah. gonna end up writing it for it again at this rate. Yeah, we really are. Honestly, like I want to get back to some of that shit. I know. If anybody cares, we have a bunch of stuff that we have out there. We like have fan, a fan fiction and writings. And the crown jewel of our collection that isn't finished. Yeah, go on. Is our multimedia epistolary fanfiction about Wolfpace and Colta. That's awesome. Wait, I'll be back in a minute. She's making bread. Ah, enjoy your bread. Yeah. I just uh, went out to refill my whiskey and I'm like, oh, hey, there's like three loaves of bread in the oven. We should look at that. Oh, and that, I need to link you to this fic then because it is my shining example oh my god oh my god i i have something to say when she, when lex gets back i made a pistol area okay um I... Jack, are you back yeah she's back now our our fic i can now i can now say this because i started the job on monday our fic got me a job oh, oh really? wow you did get the job. Congratulations! I, I did get the job, and I listed that fic on my resume. God fucking bless. What are you doing? I listed our epistolary fic in very fancy terms on my official resume that I sent out to job people, and I I got a new job that I start on Monday. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, congratulations! Yeah, no, congrats. Thank you. I'm, it was, it's the other department that you're talking about, right? Yeah, the biochem department. Fantastic! I'm so happy for you! I'm excited too! I can make new options! New big! Oh hell yeah! Oh, what new job piercing? I'm getting my septum pierced. Ha <laughs> ha! You can be- you gotta- gotta amp up that goth girl cred. I do. There you go. I don't have nearly enough piercing. And I can't afford another tattoo till next year, so... That, that's how I feel about my tattoos right now. Yeah. Like, I, I got, like, three or four, like, I want to get, like, a full-on, like, Yakuza back tap, where nice. it's just wasteland stuff. Nice! Like, I already have a basic outline in my head, but I also want to get more, like, my next tattoo, but I just want to get, like, a small one, is... I want a skeleton hanging from a gallows, and it's going to be themed around, uh, a, a song I listen to about... It's it's by Deadbolt. It's a guy who like killed a bunch of people, but I like the phrasing of the deep forest where it was one day I'll swing where the little birdie sings and I'm like, Ooh. you know what? Or, I'm like, I that's that. cool. I love that. 
That's a good line. I love Deadbolt, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna. I gotta listen to it then. Um... Yeah, they have. Um, let me, let me see. Tijuana Hit Squad is a good album. And what what was another one? Let me let me look them up here. I got my Spotify. Yeah. What's a Jonesy? Uh, Jonesy is their cat, if I recall correctly. Oh. Jonesy? Jo yeah, Jonesy Pot. Jonesy is also the cat from Alien. Oh yeah. I was that Jonesy's namesake nap? Is it an orange tabby? Yeah, there you yeah. go. Very cool. Yeah, so uh, buy a gun, get a free guitar. Fantastic album. Um, Tijuana Hit Squad, Tiki Man's pretty good. So is um, Voodoo Trucker. Mm -hmm. Like the Voodoo Trucker one's like a co concept album based entirely around trucking. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds cool. Truck okay, trucking's all that. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I need to, I need to actually sit down and listen to the rest of their discography. Since my, my new job is so close to home, I don't get to drive around yeah. and listen to music as much. So, but whereas before, where I was like driving all the way down to the Bronx and then like driving all the way out to East New York. Like, Wait, what is this that, that is in here? Oh, whoa. This yeah, is another, where oh, uh, that mod I was talking about comes in. It adds a lot more varieties of alcohol. What is black velvet? That's whiskey. It's whiskey. Oh, it's whiskey, I see. Yeah, so there's whiskey, there's vodka. Uh, Nasty um, scotch. And there's nasty like scotch. Balka. She needs all of it. I like yes. her with Balka. Yeah. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> my poor daughter. Me too. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all these days? LOL. Relatable. <laughs> no, Jules should never be relatable. If you find yourself relating to Jules, question your life choices. Honestly. It's alright. You thought Carol's basically a vigilante, so. Oh, that's I a cute reasoning for the Jonesy tattoo. Aww. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Mm -hmm. I'd be most appreciative if you. Oh. You little parrot cat. No, that's a that's good. Cute. That's a good idea. For you. Mm -hmm. e each tattoo well, should so mean cute. something. Yeah. Like, if, even if kill. I think even if that something is just oh, it's cool. Oh yeah. If it if it brings you joy and will continue mm -hmm. to bring you joy. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised you're not killing Deputy Beagle. Nah. I always let him go because I love him just getting butt mad that he gets ousted later. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, the new sheriff, no matter who it is, comes in and <laughs> is like, you're shit. Leave. Drop it. <laughs> but anyway, if we were picking up, where, where were we talking about? You said something about your new job, but there was something we were talking about before that. Oh, yeah, no. Um, God, I forgot. Oh, the epistolary, the epistolary fix. Oh yeah, the epistolary well, fake. I, I like prison sheriff best. <laughs> Be good, or I'll shoot you dead. Prison I sheriff's pretty fun. cannot endorse either of those sheriffs because I have a mod for another one. Uh -oh. oh god, who's your other sheriff? There's a legion option in this mod. Oh! Uh <laughs> oh my god. I told you, I searched out every single legion Howdy. content mod. That wasn't yeah, like you're gonna, you're, you're gonna kill this one town source of income. Yep. The, the only well, thing that it produces, and that's Vicky and Vance's. No, no, it's changing now. They're gonna produce slaves. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. I see the error of my ways. A slave to gambling or a slave to slavery? <laughs> At least gambling has cool slot machines. <laughs> Man, Wait, no, I forgot, that... Crap that car. I forgot that mod what? too, god damn it. Mod. The Legion, the Prim Legion option mod. Um, I have a lot of mods yeah. to install. Um, Interesting, we'll just come back to Prim, just forget about Prim for now. Yeah, I'm about to forget oh, about Prim. Prim. I'm gonna hate Prim. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, oh, uh, our story pick is awesome. I'm you sorry. should link to it at the end of the stream. Yes, um... I'll post it on my Twitter, which is at Legiovex, um, and yep. I'll post it in the chat here. Um, so stick yep. around after I stop streaming if you want a link. Yeah. We have um, two has, chapters so far. It, yeah, we have two chapters, and we have sexy, sexy voice actors. Oh, yeah. It's great. And audio sexy, mixing and everything. sexy audio mixing. Thank you. Thank you, Vex. That's good stuff. And, and lots of multimedia content. Um, lots so of it. it's, it's 
It's very fun. And it, it takes place how many, like two decades after the events of New Vegas, something like that? <sighs> or like 15 years, something like that. It God, takes place uh... long enough. It takes long, place long enough after New Vegas' events that um, the the great state of New Deseret has formed. East. <laughs> and it takes place mostly in um, Salt Lake City until it switches to back to New Vegas, but yeah. There's a little bit in New Vegas, yeah. Yeah. Which ending timeline? Legion ending, baby! But that's a complicated question, because our Legion ending... Our <laughs> Legion ending place. isn't the end of it. It's not the end of it. Is that a door? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold you on. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna backtrack and wait until it's light out because this mod makes me not see. There you go. Yeah, no, you, you got one of the darker night mods, don't you? It's Nevada Skies. Oh, oh that's yeah. a good one. See, um, that's the, that's the interesting thing because being a descendant of pioneers. Uh, you oh, no. can travel? No. Oh, oh no, he's gonna get you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to talk to Malcolm Holmes. I just, I just panicked. Somebody was at the top of me, go fuck! <laughs> I panicked. Oh, that's you a Don't touch I the light of my life! Kitty, no! <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> he's mad that you shot Malcolm Holmes. Yeah. She was trying to touch. Here, hold, hold still for a sec. Uh huh. Oh, he's uh, he's trickling. I think. I don't think that's a, that might be a Browning high power. That just might be a nine mil nineteen eleven. I need to like, double check. It's probably like... a Browning high power though. <laughs> but um. He's oh, struggling. Yeah, with the squares that is. That's, that's I'm gonna put him out of his misery. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's. I never use the nine mil that much in this game because um you get the sick ass 10 mil like right away and it's infinitely better especially if you're playing with the mods you get the weather 10 mil which keeps me like going way 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 in the mid game i'm just but, i just want a machete is the thing i play melee unarmed well you're gonna you're gonna have to slaughter a legionary for that well just there's some dead leaf fairies up on the road ahead because there's a thing of rangers coming up for for some for some goddamn reason, the Legion has a surplus of lawnmowers from which they steal blades <laughs> to make in a machete. Legions are in Nevada anymore. Plenty of lawns. Look at all yeah. this. You think this would be so much more manicured if somebody had Ooh. a single lawnmower? Ooh, look jalapenos. Why would you do jet when you could just mow a lawn? <laughs> <laughs> That's canon now. Yeah, something well... somebody has said to Jules. <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> Didn't work though. It so, should have. Maria is a sick gun, I but by the time you get it in the game, it is just completely outclassed. Like, it, it aesthetically beautiful. Like. And I play for the I aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like. God damn it. I'm about the, the to play the, y'all. The, the way this game handles, like, ammo and damage values, it makes it so that, like, late game, certain calibers are just. Fucking worthless. See that huge split? Yeah, I like That's crazy. We got a huge thunderstorm over here. Oh yeah. Mm. It's been mad humid all day. Out patrolling that it felt miserable. Oh, there's the rumblies. Oh gang, I leveled up. Yo. Noise. Take drugs. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay. I'm sipping some port uh, frontier whiskey. That's drugs. Close enough. Black Widow. Black Widow. Of course. Naturally. You know it. Uh huh. Of course. Our little kitty boy is falling asleep peacefully Aww. in between us here. Be cute. It is very cute. You should know this. He's a little tuxedo cat. Have you seen pictures of him? That's yes. Oh. Have I, I haven't shown you pictures yet of Vex's cat. Vex also is a kitten. Oh, I, I knew. I knew you had a cat before, but I didn't know you had yeah, a kitten. Yeah, I have um, my big void, who is just the void, and then I got a kitten over Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Let's see. You yeah, know, like I said, this cat, he, he was a complete accident. Over, um, where can you find pictures of cats? Um, not sure. What's this? 
Oh, I'm just patching up some text. I was gonna pull up the captures. Okay. But, um... We'll figure out where we can put a picture of, uh, Jello here. So... The chat can partake in our little boy. Yeah, but I wanted to show... Does he have an Insta? <laughs> oh. I want to see my little boy. Oh, accent. Oh. Little black cat. I Rex, love Rex is collecting them. I love them. I... It, it will make my house look like a witch's house. Yeah, we're there you go. Pie. We're 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 slowly getting uh, little Jello adjusted to us, mm -hmm. and once he's big enough to uh, jump up on tables, he can handle Ellie. Yeah. We, we have a, a weenie dog who can't jump up on things, so once he he figures out, oh, I can go up high places. And the thing is, is the weenie dog only weighs eleven pounds. This That's cat's as much as my cat weighs. Oh, let's show him show him more pictures of um, Moira. Oh, <laughs> good. But, um, yeah, once he grows up a little bit, he's already put on some weight. When we first got him, he was less than a pound. Oh! Less than a pound. Yeah, he, he, like, you'd hold him, and it just felt like you were holding, like, a cotton ball. Yeah. And... Little! Yeah. It turns out he had worms! Yeah, so... That'll do well, it. Yeah. We, we got, got him all out, now he's putting on some weight, he's got tons of energy. Yeah. Runs around constantly, plays all the time. Yeah, he was playing a lot today, which is probably why he's bushed right now. Yeah. I played with him a bunch. What's funny is we made it so our second bathroom is kind of like his room. Mm -hmm. Got some towels laid out, we got a bed, he'll jump into the bathtub and swat a ping pong ball in there. <laughs> and we cleared out to yeah. be his like, little hideaway. And we and he has like a little ball that's filled with uh, like jingle bells. That he loves. I'll be sitting there playing Wasteland 3 and I hear jingle jingle. <laughs> Sometimes a dog will catch it too and wonder what the hell's going on back there. But yeah, but we we got a baby gate, so she can't get back there. Yeah, and and we keep him in the bathroom only at night, right as we go be right before bed, because we don't want him, you know, eating wires or anything. Yeah. So we put him in the bathroom at night. But otherwise, um, the way our apartment is laid out, we have a hallway that leads in the living room. But beyond that hallway, it leads to the laundry nook, the second bedroom, which is my home office. And the second bathroom. So I put we put up a baby gate to cut off the hallway. So that second part of the apartment is basically the cat zone. Yeah. Um, we have a little zone. weird dog sign up against the baby gate. It's pretty funny. I, but, I don't think oh, I don't think she's figured out what that means yet. But um, so since I work from home, uh, I have the cat tower to my left within arm's reach, which is right next to a window. So the cat loves the tower. He's always in it. He watches out the window. I, you know, I pet him, I give him a treat. Um, and uh, he's become very social. When I'm in meetings, I'll just like play with him. <laughs> while I'm in the... um, and uh, sometimes I'll pick him up and I'll have him sleep on my lap or I'll Aww. wear a hoodie back in the hood. I had to take extra special care of him because we found him on the, sh on the streets. So he's still kind of semi-feral, but he's really come a long way. Yeah. Oh, he's twitching! Look at him! Oh. He's, having... <laughs> he's dreaming! He's twitching! Yeah, he, he was a he was a rescue. No, a very literal rescue. Hey, no, him those are my cat. flowers. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> my kitten. Yeah, is, uh, is acting up. Stop! No. She's okay, so I have like some dangling things on my desk, and I tried to keep her off my desk, but it didn't work. That's not gonna work. It you gotta do work. some more cat food. Um, so I have like dangling art that I got of my favorite D and D characters. <laughs> nice. Um, and she's kind of swatting at that, and then she was like swatting at the ribbons on like a, a wreath, I like a hair wreath I have. I'm just like, stop, oh, please. I'll be back in. I gotta put the bread in the oven. I'll kill these guys. Eat him. Where are you? Yeah, man, you're playing with the, with God mode on, so it's like. I sure am, because I don't care. I don't want to die. I'm. I, I don't care for that. See, I'm. I'm always playing on hardcore mode. Hardcore mode. Uh, got like all these mods that add like favorite. like. I, I'm. I'm one of the animals that plays stalker, on like the higher difficulties. Why? Because I. I Ranger Dan, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, mostly because if you play Stalker on normal, all of a sudden every Russian in the area grows a mutation that allows them to be immune to basically all forms of damage. Because <laughs> the way... 
Oh my god, the way the game scales difficulty is it allows you to take more rounds. Mm -hmm. So, it doesn't just apply to you, it applies to your enemies, so everything becomes a bullet sponge right after, too. So, it, it's ridiculous, because you're just sitting there, and a firefight that should take, like, two seconds takes ten years. Uh. And it outpaces your supplies, and, of course, enemies don't run out of ammo, so you die. Mm -hmm. So, if you play it on, like, the higher difficulties, all of a sudden the damage values become more normal, so you can kill somebody or something within a magazine or two, as opposed to spending the next dog's year doing it. Hey, stretchy kitty. Banning it, no shooting? Did you see that? that got okay, I don't care. Ban an in-game action, no shooting. About Ooh. about to not be a problem. Aha! Yeah, nice. What? <sighs> Motherfucker. There's supposed to be... She's rude. There's supposed to be, um... Some Legion and Rangers along the way. Did you forget that mod, too? No, it's not no. a mod. Oh. That's not in vanilla. I don't think so. Did I? No, I installed... I'm gonna double check my mods because that is one I, that I installed like day one. So it is a mod then. If if it's a mod, then I installed it day one because it's with the Legion quests expanded. Yeah, because yeah, this this pathway has gone about as normal to vanilla as possible. Bunch yeah. of nothing, some bugs, and you come across the raiders, then those two having like a domestic dispute. Mad alcohol. That is weird. I I, I honestly got to the point on like my old computers and stuff where I didn't know what was vanilla and what was a mod anymore. Same. See, I know distinctly what's vanilla because that's what I played almost exclusively. Your poor soul. This is why you. This is why you. It was really cute when I modded the game for him because it was the first time he had played a modded copy, so it was like a brand new game to him. It was really fun watching him experience it for the first time, essentially. Hey guys, yeah, I've been I, I, here! I, we have been here, in person! Yeah! OMG guys, they made Nipton the real thing. They made Those Nipton the real thing, it's just like Fallout New Vegas. I like uh, the happy scorpion. <laughs> ah, here's our boy! Here's the boy! <laughs> My man! <laughs> In ROU, Oliver Swanick survives this, gets rescued by, like, Mormon missionaries, and becomes a devout Mormon. And just fights all those rat squirps. He, become, he becomes a, a bishop and has, like, ten kids. Are you kidding me? And is insufferable. They all have it. terrible so, names. Yeah. Oh, God, yes, that's right. Read the epistolary what fic. Lot? They all have the worst, I'm most lottery, I'm begging you to read the fic that got me a job. Please. Oh, Stop macro-aggressing me. <laughs> Did we have his voice? Or were we just planning for it? Were we what his voice? Did we have his voice? Swanick's voice? Or did were we just, just planning? Okay. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> I love I love how fucking psyched he is. And then just bye. That's Yeah. That's why that's one of the reasons Nipton is my favorite part of the whole game. <laughs> Oliver Swanick, I love him. Terrible. It's not a It's iconic, man. It's everything about the game is crafted so well. When you go back and think about it, it's just mm, what an introduction. Like everything about this game is is just a master fucking piece. The only limitations were time, budget, and the fucking game brio engine. If they had the actual resources, can you even begin to imagine? Although at the same time, I understand that like, uh, uh, maybe having to pare things down helped them really refine this game. Because when you look at the original Van Buren documents, it's all over the fucking yeah, place. I promise you, my hand is quite boring. But you know what Van Buren documents had? Legion chariots. And I will never not be salty that we didn't get sick. Legion chariots. Sick would have been sick as hell. It's somewhere around here. Right there. By the way. There we go. Well, if he gets frisky, you can use the string to play with him. I'm just anyway. trying to teach him that my hand's boring as shit. Yeah, we don't want him to get into the habit of playing with our hands. 
or anything. It was a problem earlier today while I was working. He kept trying to attack my legs, but like I can't move my legs because if I move it, then they become a fun thing, and he wants to yeah. attack them more. I had to stand there, or, you know, sit there and try not to move as much as possible. It, it, it's like when you run from a dog, they're like, oh, we doing this? So right now I'm just knife handing my cat. <laughs> yeah. It's just sitting here, and he seems to have lost most of his interest. Yeah, because it's not fun, and that's what you have to teach them. They go after it, make it not God fun. Damn it. I was nodding off until you barged in here. So I don't have medics, and if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. I don't know. <laughs> I just love it here. Powder Gang is a ridiculous asshole. fucking name. For mm -hmm. place with... I love how basically everybody bullies them for that. <laughs> it's like, really? It's fucking, really? That, that's what that... I've had, um... There's a whole bump in the KNCR stuff that Utah Carol does that is, um... Just making fun of them. Good. Oh, after, after you speak with, um, Wolpes, let's have Ranger Danger talk about Utah Carol yeah. and KNCR. Yeah, I want to show you guys Jill's house, though. Oh, you picked a house to be hers. Yeah, it was always it was always this one, this little white one. Oh, I didn't realize that. Or maybe I knew that a while ago, but... I, I thought I'd been the one filled with scorpions. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so I was so one. filled with scorpions. I like this one. Did somebody take it over and put the bunk beds in there or something yeah, after she yeah, left? Yeah, yeah. Kitty boy. Kitty boy. Is Kitty there anything good in here? here? He loves his strength. Yeah. He loves to play. He gets oh. rambunctious. It's funny, this cat's just completely binary in how he works. He goes from, like, I'm running around and playing with things to, I'm asleep. Oh my god, they turned the house into another whorehouse. They Please. probably did, because Jules lived there. Oh god, what was that? Home. Oh. Now, thank you very much. Oh, it's, this is not a whorehouse, it's a whore home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, let's talk to this furry motherfucker. Is, like, man, I, I love how he talks like an anime villain. Right? It's great. Right? So oh, good. He must make himself like, so He reminds me of like a quarter of the high school, uh, the furries I knew in like high school and stuff. <laughs> God. Like, yeah, God. I'm an intellectual badass. And it's like, dude, you, you're wearing a fedora. You, you wore a fox <laughs> tail to history class. I, I can't. I can't take you seriously, no. bro. Moira, stop playing with my bobbins. I am begging. <laughs> please. What did I do Please don't game? play I mean, with my bobbins. This game sets a scene. It really does. There's there's more shit I remember from this game than any other Fallout game because it's just it's just good imagery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like three three and four don't have any of this shit. No, they really don't. They're, they're, I don't. They're more. <sighs> I don't care for three. Three is boring. Don't worry. Like what? I will it's lashed to a cross like the rest. I of I, I will give three this. It's useful that you happen by. I'm glad it exists yeah. because it Witness gave a, a New Vegas a leg. To memorize every yeah, detail. Yeah, yeah, that's the it, only good thing about it. And it proved that it could be done. Mm -hmm. I want you to teach everyone and the lesson that Kaisar's Legion. Like the rest of Fallout Three, like especially any NCR troops you run across. I don't know. I just don't give a shit because. <laughs> Fallout is an intrinsically American tale, but more so an intrinsically Southwestern American tale. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about the East Coast. <laughs> I mean, maybe if they gave it interesting lore instead of everybody's living in tin shacks, I, or favela. I, 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 I would kill and or die for a, for a Georgia set Fallout. Like, I want I want you guys to know this. I know they would fuck it up, but I would kill and or die for it. Look out, get. I mean, it's not Georgia, but, like, Southern Gothic. What... It, what did you just say? Wait, look out. Wait, no, that doesn't Follow count. That doesn't count. Yeah, that, that's, that's like, that doesn't count. I, that, I, that's want, awful. I want to see Sanford Stadium destroyed by nuclear bombs. <laughs> that's a regional specific you joke for any Georgians like, in the chat. I, I want, I want the Atlanta, uh, that, that arc, that, uh, the arch that's just like still standing. I, I was still standing inexplicably. Or knocked over completely. The UGA arch, I want it. I want it inexplicably standing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because we need to have major landmarks standing in the Bethesda Fallout. It's like how the White <laughs> House is still there somehow. I want. Oh God, there was an Atlanta. There was like an, a specifically Atlanta thing that I did, that I wanted a while back. I can't remember what it was. 
Nipton You're gonna leave your boy hanging? Oh, good. You debate. Yeah, no, I was. I got distracted thinking about Sir Georgia Fallout again. So long as they kill <laughs> profligate troops, all right, I, as men of the Legion, such the as imagine the irradiated peaches. Here didn't care. Yeah, <laughs> red peaches. Rad course. peaches and rad Re peanuts. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those Re sheltered into a Reaches and re-nuts. <laughs> Only when I sprang it did Stop. they realize That's they my fucking me, cat. Don't eat it. Don't bite him. Yes. And herded them to the center of town. <laughs> I told them their sins. The foremost being... What are you, what are you getting from that? Your claws are clipped, so it doesn't soil, hurt. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> It's like fucking me. I gotta be covered in so many scratches Each right now if it was the first clip claws. Well, clip claws, and I also have like rhino skin, so. Did nothing. The, the pit? I think the pit was a really good DLC. Mm -hmm. Like, I enjoyed that more than the rest of Fallout yes, 3 combined. Did. As will all the rest of them. Because it actually poses some interesting questions. And teach them what you've learned here. And be more the, in the Legion, day. or not the Legion, but the Brotherhood of Steel isn't just a binary good guy in that. Mm, thank God, I hate the Brotherhood of Steel. Like, I like them in New Vegas because they're it's congruent with what they're supposed to be fucking doing. Yeah. But in three and, and four, that's not the Brotherhood of Steel. That that's like Bethesda just want a good guy faction. Yeah. I'll it's say, lame. if you guys ever see me at a con when I'm cosplaying Wolfface, I'll give you a lottery ticket. Yes, I, I make... have a frame that was signed by yeah. Zachary Levi that she gave me. God bless you. It was in exchange for the armor. Yeah, yeah that's right. We're much better. Hmm? Um, I'm, I'm responding to Nate at chat here. Oh. And uh, the, the, le uh, the Brotherhood outcasts, like these, I, I like the idea of a schism inside the Brotherhood, but they don't touch upon that, really. They're just there. Yeah, they're just kind of there. And it's just like, yeah, these guys are really rad, but we're not going to do anything with them, are we? <laughs> That's the whole point of Fallout 3. They don't do anything interesting, pretty much. That's yeah, the whole they, point they, of Bethesda they have Fallout. But they, they never... It's the same thing with 4. Like, we're going to have cool ideas. Look at all these Stop cool it. things. Yeah, fuck it. We're not doing anything with it. Stop it. <laughs> Moira, I can't be doing this with you right now. I have to get rid of these legion dogs. You can't fight cat and dogs at the same time. Yeah. It's too difficult. So why don't you tell us about Utah Carol? And yeah, tell, tell us about Utah Carol. I want to know. We can show our story. I want to know so, all about him. Um, to recap, because I'm pissed. I used to have his whole story written out on my phone. Mm-hmm. I recently got a new phone, and... Oh, no. was it locally saved? Yeah, apparently oh, it was. Fuck. I thought it was on our PST. So this just gives me a chance to rewrite it, but the loose Cliff Notes version, he is the son of two new Canaanites who fled upon the uh, destruction of New Canaan, and... Wait, so that makes him like a baby during New Vegas time, or a toddler. Well, they, they fled- well, let me stand. sorry. They fled shortly before because they could smell what was on the wind. That would still make him like four years old. My timeline might be off then. Your timeline's off. New, new Canaan being fucked up is like news. Like, that's the reason why the caravan is going out, because they're like, yo, the caravan's coming from New Vegas. I don't think it was like way before, because- and like, yeah, just... we're going up to New Canaan, like, but that's where fucking, um, like, Atlantis is from, and he's an established figure. He's not from New Canaan. He's, yeah, no, no Atlantis was... is not from New Canaan. That was, like, one of his first things that he did, though. Raise mm -hmm. New Canaan? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It, that was a while from then. It, it took them a minute. Man, I really it. wish I fucking had my clips notes. Anyways, they're Mormons, and... We'll figure that out. Yeah. He, he's, he's an adult by the time of New Vegas, right? Yeah, roughly. Man, I, I used to have it all planned out, but I'm so pissed right now. They, they, could, have fled, lost they could have fled Caesar's first incursion into Utah. Quite possibly. But um, they head west along I-80, a road that I've traveled along very, very much. And, oh. well, we all know what's along I-80. And 
turns out that their whole band that they're traveling with, with gets attacked by the 80s. Uh, he is the only survivor. He was still reasonably young at the time, but uh, and they were close enough to NCR territory that a patrol was able to go through and rescue him from the, the 80s band that had been raiding them. He is allowed to pick through some of the family's belongings at a later date and selects uh, an old Book of Mormon that he remembers being read from very often, a little torn up one, lots of highlighters, uh, dog-eared pages. It, it was the family one. That's yeah. something that's very common. The family Bible. Yeah, you have your family, you have your, what we call the family triple threat, basically. Where it's the, the Bible, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Book of Mormon. It, it, it is a dense tome. You pick it up, it's like a brick. Or a god cat, that's my leg. But, um, so, he picks that out, and he takes his, uh, his mother's 1911, and he, at that point, decides to uh, stay with one of the rangers who had rescued him, who becomes his adoptive mother, takes care of him until he's old enough to enlist in the uh, NCR army. And he proves to be a very proficient soldier and was somehow able to qualify with his, his mother's old fucking 1911 and carries that... Oh, what the fuck, cat? The cat's attacking his leg. Bastard. Oh, bat, that, don't swing it towards my leg. No, I'm trying to distract him away from it. Should I go on? Qualifies for the NCR. Qual uh, qualifies for the army, uh, joins first recon, and is later poached by the... Yes, exactly. Three World Wars. Stop in Kawa. All you need is eight rounds. What else? But <laughs> <laughs> No, so, um... He qualifies for first recon, hangs with them for a while, but is later poached by the Rangers as conflicts es are escalating in... Oh, he dead. Yeah. Oh, how'd that happen? I turned off God Mode. Because I thought you I had this. I turned off God Mode. Couple oh, dogs. Wow. A pack of dogs. <laughs> good, good. Oh, scam. <laughs> but five whole dogs. <laughs> so he, as co conflicts escalate in the Mojave, he is dragged into the Rangers and is pressed into conflict there. Now, knowing that the somehow finding out that the Legion is involved with prompting the 80s into becoming more and more aggressive, as well as various other tribal bands. And this ties into the fact that um, in every Fallout run that I do, after getting Honest Hearts, is I pick that sneering imperialist perk. <laughs> so, he is not very fond of tribals, due to both personal history and the current conflict. And whereas Boone just goes after the Legion as a whole, uh, Utah Carroll realized... He's racist. No, he's not racist. Okay. Do you, okay. you think these are, like, actual quote-unquote tribals? <laughs> no. No, I know. Go on. But, um... No, so he, he goes after tribals because they're usually the ones inflicting the most harm directly, whereas the Legion pulls the strength behind the scenes, which is where his whole vigil vigilanteism angle comes in. Later on, he is conscripted into a or not conscripted, but asked to volunteer for a uh, experimental branch of the Rangers called the NCR Bureau of Propaganda, the NCRBP, mm -hmm. and they are going to be sent deep, deep, deep into and behind either Uncharted or Legion territory in order to set up radio stations and uh, broadcast propaganda. In so doing, he and his unit usually, it was a fire team, not not terribly large amount of people, about five, six, all get sent out to the Salt Lake Valley. Only he and one other man make it out there, a surgeon, the medic, and they set up on the west, uh, the west end of the Salt Lake Valley, uh, right near the foot of the Oakers, and he opens up KNCR the bear. <laughs> he has a whole heap of tapes 
at uh, Apollo tapes just with classic what? rock and country. Don't eat that. That's not. He just you. tapped the puck. If you heard that, I did. <laughs> that's his pause. His little yeah, pause. That. Yeah, but go on. Opens KNCR the bear. Yeah, KNCR the bear and is now half of me. Oh, excuse me. Broadcasting from the foot of the Oakers and continually going into Salt Lake and other places to gather more resources and hopefully converting people and giving inside tips to uh, movements of tribals and legion throughout the area. Occasionally the tribals make raids, particularly the 80s, because um, the little town he's in is not terribly far from my 80. It's within a, a day's walk, roughly. So they, they like to perform raids on him. Same with the White Legs. They get pushed out from uh, most of the salt uh, of Utah. So he's a big fan of Joshua Graham. Naturally, of course. Of course. Did I make a Legion character that was a Frumentari or something that just kept crank calling him? Yes. Like he'd have Collins <laughs> on his show. Yeah, he putting in terrible requests. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Yeah. Is your refrigerator on there? <laughs> you degenerate scuff. At least I have a refrigerator. <laughs> Not just eating like virgin boy meat or whatever you tribals do. <laughs> <laughs> like Legion's proud of that. Legion is still dirty tribals, though. <laughs> All their unwashed assholes. <laughs> I, now the the whole like the whole KNCR thing for me came from the fact that either due to licensing or just due to constraints or I, I don't know I I don't fault Obsidian for this as much as I do Bethesda because. There's a distinct lack of classic country. Like, I don't know why the fuck there isn't a single Johnny Cash song in any of these goddamn games. Expensive life. Do you think they could afford Johnny Cash? Man, they could afford Liam Neeson when he was actually a prolific actor. Like, come on. <laughs> That's with all the like, budget. There's just um, weird omissions. Like, I understand not getting Elvis. That is an incredibly expensive. Um, like, at the time... Yeah. At the time, all these games were being developed. Michael Jackson's still on the rights to that. They that couldn't just so write him a nice letter. Write a nice letter to Michael Jackson. <laughs> Mr. Jackson. He'd be more willing to license that than Sony. But, um... Look at how pretty this sunset oh. is. Yeah. And then the fires been... where the mayor burns. Hooray! Yeah. Like the deep purples and violets. Well, actually, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. There. There you go. But yeah, so so. At, at my local commune. But uh, <laughs> no. So I the KNCR thing. I started making a little playlist of uh. It's really cool. Of songs where it was lots of classic rock and lots of really old country. And I expanded it because I'm like, wait a minute, this is all taking place way, way, way in the future. So newer bluegrass bands and like uh, rockabilly stuff would be completely in line. Mm hmm. I started adding like Reverend Horton Heat and other such bands, uh, the Dead South yes. on there. Yes. So I'm just like, these guys would fall completely within the genre conventions. There's nothing they're doing that is terribly out of line. It's not like I'm throwing Metallica on here. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> but aren't you going to mention the bumps? The what? The bumps. Oh, yes. Um, so I actually made, like, a whole bunch of KNCR stuff. It's on my phone currently. Radio bumps. He recorded them. It's yeah, cool. I recorded radio bumps. They're themed around the songs. And I, I need to re-record them at some point and actually make some ads and stuff. I, I remember I, I reached out to Vex about it forever ago. But, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, you wanted me to voice something, I think. Yeah, I, I wanted to have, like, bumps and ads and things. Maybe, like, make a, a small mod for New Vegas for it at some point. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I, that's the other thing that's killed me about Fallout stuff is, like, yeah, sure, there's there's not, like, I don't swat that cat. <laughs> but, um, I get it. Radio tech is hard to get set up, but there would be more than, than like, two or three radio stations. Like, 
There's that radio Easily. station you can find near Goods Springs that isn't staffed anymore, which is a shame. Yeah. Like, there, there'd be there'd be more radio stations, and that, that's what upsets me. And I understand it from a development constraints and licensing perspective. Yes, that is my foot. But, um... No, that's... I, I always wish that there was more and more more and more different music yeah. and more and more different personalities. Yeah. Because the radio in particularly New Vegas was just such a huge part of the experience, and I wish that there was more. It's my foot, butthead. Stop attacking his feet. He just ran halfway across the bed to smack my foot like four times. It's very funny, but not acceptable. Yeah? Yeah. Are you done? No? <laughs> Me? Oh, oh, you're talking to your cat. No, no, I'm talking to the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's Are... doing some moitering. We, we can't tell who we're... Who we're... Sorry. <laughs> no, I was listening. I just got caught off guard by fucking mine. Viper. Man, my favorite thing... I, I make a game I'm not out of over punch there. these guys. I have an optimum angle to get their ass. <laughs> I keep along that uh, right-hand cliff side there, mm -hmm. and I avoid the big horners. I snipe the two along that side of the cliff because there's one. Got a snipe. There's one with a gr uh, grenade launcher, and then another with just like a submachine gun, typically. Then once they're dead, I hit the ones on the other side of the valley. You know, normally one of them will be able to get away from me unless I have the. Varmint rifle sufficiently repaired and equipped with a scope. I promise you, my foot's quite boring, cat. And then I move on to their camp, because fuck these guys. <laughs> I still haven't forgiven them for the first time they murdered me back in like 2010. <laughs> I hate, I, I hate this stretch of road. I really it, do. It fucked me up so bad, but I, I learned. <laughs> but, no, Nate, Nate mentions, like, yeah, no, radio waves, like, Mm -hmm. Even set them up on a small mountain, they're going to go out quite far, and radiation would interfere with that. So if you come across, like there'd be plenty of radiation clouds and shit out through the wastes, and they they get pushed through from the particularly the inversion in the Salt Lake Valley. Like radiation would absolutely get caught just hanging in there certain times of year, just like the exhaust fumes do. Mm -hmm. There's another thing you can use for your AU, babe. Oh, yeah. The ra <laughs> the weather is particularly radioactive today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Make sure to take your iodine. Uh, unlike unlike Las Ve or not Las Vegas, um, Los Angeles, where it is constantly inversion all the time, sucks some exhaust. Salt Lake, that only really happens during the peak of summer. And then... Sometimes during the winter, but typically the snow and the and whatnot clears it out. But no, that that actually be an interesting ecosystem to have a fallout game taking place in, especially if it's a over a long period of time where you actually have to deal with the weather. We have to catch you up on the AU so you can advise on that because it does take place over like three generations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of it is in Utah. A lot of it is in New Desert in Utah in general, yeah. Is it like the Salt Lake Valley area, or...? Yes, they reclaim the Holy Land. Oh, good. That's part of how they form New Desert, is that they retake the Holy Land as a symbolic thing. I forgot to go spread word of Legion atrocities, so that's what we're doing now. Oh, aha, I see. Uh, how, I have to how get could that... you immediately forget what he asked you to do? Well, because I don't You're hold space in my off. mind for him. He doesn't occupy <laughs> my brain space. I'm not he allowing will. him that. He will I'll now. Let that man Bad rent free. But he will. He gets charged with I don't let him live rent free in my head. He just does. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pay your rent, you also, dirty fox man. I, I love the gigantic flex that the NCR has on the entirety of Wasteland Society of like, yeah, we're building monuments, bitch. But that's so cool that the society has advanced enough that they could do shit like that. They're not just living but, in goddamn tin shacks. So here, yeah, on like the East Coast. Yeah, the East Coast doesn't have their shit together. Like, that's what cracks me up in the difference between 
West Coast Fallout and East Coast Fallout. Like, right? West Coast Fallout, they're making societies. East Coast Fallout, they're all still just, like, shitting in holes and living in right? shacks. <laughs> Nuka-Cola. It's so bad. Like, everything's just god-awful. And, like, and, and having lived on the East Coast, I believe it now. It was the it was the world of Coke. That was the Atlanta specific landmark I wanted to see Fallout do. Oh. No, they already did that with like the Nuka World or whatever. Doesn't count. And, like, Doesn't count. It's bullshit. Nuka World's bullshit. Doesn't count. It has to be one building. Like the Nuka World DC uh, DLC. I remember. Oh. Oh, here, play the cat. I'll be back in a sec. The new Cool World thing just came out of left field, and like everybody's like, "Yeah, check it out! It's like the best part of this game." And I played it, and it sucked ass. I did not care for it. And like, yeah, you get to have choices. I'm like, no, really? Do you? Do you get to have choices? It's like, no. oh, which way do you want running this joint? I'm like, bullshit. Let me tell you, that bread is smelling super good. I made it, I put everything bagel topping on it, so it smells a lot like bagel. Send me you some. Really? You yeah, thank you. I, I would. We'll send you some bread to your web zone. It's special keto bread, too. I made it mm. with coconut I'm sure it's been hit. and gluten. There's anybody left with what? Actually, what? Coconut flour and wheat gluten. But I, oh. but I rise it with normal bread with yeast. <laughs> and it turns out super good. And it's what? keto. Fucking mo. Send, He's going send you your web zone. It doesn't. It doesn't have like wheat in it. No, it uses uh, coconut. It has gluten in it though. Yeah, it has lots of gluten. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Yeah. Send so it to... in... the part. The part of the wheat that has carbs, they take away and they just leave the gluten part, which is the rubbery bit that holds bread together. Mm -hmm. So you you basically use coconut flour and then you put the gluten in it because they can take gluten out of wheat and they can powder it, and then you add a little bit of xanthan gum. And you basically just make it as normal bread. Remove the gluten, add the gluten. There's gluten under the ocean. <laughs> but um, It turns out pretty good. So the other thing about this monument, and it's interesting knowing the history of Fallout. So the Arizona Rangers are a faction uh, in Wasteland. Now these are the Desert Rangers. That, that's their official title, mm -hmm. and they moved them to Nevada. But they use they, they use the Desert Ranger name still. Mm -hmm. So, seeing this handshake, like, if you look up at it for a second there, like, you have the Desert Rangers of Wasteland, a then dead, absolutely dead franchise. Mm -hmm. Wasteland 2 had not been even crowdfunded yet, or, like, uh... Existed. It, it, it wasn't it, a glimmer in their eye. Yeah, no. Like, like I'm sure somebody had, like, a lot of the guys who made Wasteland 2 and Wasteland 3 were former Fallout devs. But, um, seeing this handshake is just like a passing of the torch. Yeah, The Desert Rangers that. handing it over to the New California Republic Rangers. That's really cool, you know? I never, I never, I never knew that. that. Yeah. No, that's, that's why I was just like, wow. You're getting more respect to the source material here than anywhere else and it's absolutely wonderful to see that like it makes me so happy to see that wasteland is more or less canon <laughs> it's good even though in wasteland the world ended in like the 80s or 90s which is why you get like uh, a ronald reagan ai in wasteland 3 <laughs> which is like, that worships him as a god the high priestesses are all called nancy's oh my yes. god I, I'm telling the, the, you, the whole, the whole, the whole this game was whole. made for me. You really need to play Wasteland 3. It's like if you turn the Wild Wasteland perk on in New Vegas, but like everything was Wild Wasteland. Oh my god. Just, well, like, um, so let's see, you have Saul Buchanan, who is trying to resurrect America starting in Colorado, and he swings around a giant hammer wrapped around in the American flag. Oh, I told, I think I told you, Vex, that uh, Saul Buchanan, here, Kitty, don't go off the bed, that Saul Sorry. Buchanan is like, if you took the best traits of Caesar and Joshua Graham, yeah, you and you did, combined, and I was like, what best traits? Yeah. All of them. Like, like they, the, the leadership and charisma and organization, hot. yeah, the leadership and charisma and organization of Caesar, um, here, give me a second, I gotta put the cat away. Yeah. So, hold on, oh, I gotta. 
So I got something ball. in my eye. My eye, my allergies are acting up for me. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, the leadership, charisma, and organization of Caesar. But the like deadliness and brutal efficiency and legendary uh, stature of Joshua. Oh, and he creates himself like a cult of personality, like Caesar too. And through his through his brutal reign and intense propaganda, he creates a functional society. Yep. He even has his own uh, quote unquote police force called the Marshals, which are barely more than glorified thugs. And it's funny because the game doesn't show you how fucked up and corrupt they are initially. But you slowly get into it, and they're talking about, like, yeah, we just beat people up for fun, basically. And I'm like, oh. Uh-huh. I see. Why are you shooting up. me? Hi. Oh. Stop it. Who is this? It's a deranged bright follower. Oh, oh, oh. I, I thought see. it was Legion from a distance, and I was like, I've done nothing. Legion ain't smart enough for energy weapons. <laughs> no, they're dumb. They have dumb weapons. Yeah, like melee weapons. Shut up. Melee weapons are good, actually. Legionaries, you hand a legionary a gun, they're lucky they don't blow a hole through their skirt. Is this Wolfhorn Ranch? Yeah, it is. Oh. Are you listening? This must be a mod, because this is not vanilla, I know this that. Is, yeah. No, this is... This isn't a mod. I don't have any mods yeah. about them. This has got to be in something, because I've never had this happen. Yeah. I've had it happen a couple times. I, I've never. But usually, had usually involved. farther away. Usually, like farther down the road. My my first fucking um, run, uh, of Fallout New Vegas, and I had to deal with that fucked ass, uh, rocket joint. Just having to negotiate between. I always skip everybody. that one. <laughs> I always skip that I, one. I, I, I just straight up killed the, the bright cultists at some point. So I'm like, these guys are just going to get themselves killed anyways. Hey, you got a better knife. Yeah, I did get a better knife. I'm still looking for a machete. 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 Find you. Will you? <laughs> what? Oh, yo. Did you follow me in here, you lunatic? They oh, struggling, really? though. They struggling. They bugging. I love New Vegas. It's a perfect, flawless game. It is. But, no, seriously, Vex, you, you need to play Wasteland 2 and 3. I like, have uh, been told this. Lex got 2 for her Switch. Oh yeah, Wasteland 2 is on Switch. And I'm I'm just about finished with my run of 3, mm -hmm. because it is absolutely such a wonderful interpretation of these concepts. 2 is... A, a little bit more rough than three in a yeah. lot of ways, because it was a kickstarted game, mm -hmm. and it was it was all made in Unity, so it's it's a little it's a little rough around. It's a little rough, but three is very refined. Yeah, ah, three, there's like, some boys. Wonderful, like you know the talking heads from like one and two. Yeah, they basically brought that back for a handful of characters in Wasteland Three, where you get these lovely hand animated cutscenes with them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And just these beautiful flourishes and animations on it. It's pretty good writing. It's so much fun to watch. <laughs> it's interesting, and you have a lot of choices and flexibility. Yeah. Like, there, there's shit that's it. come back, back and bit me in the ass I did not anticipate. Like, when I rewrote an AI for a uh, vending hey, machine to get a better deal out of it, I got punished for it later. Because you took his uh, took his termination. Brain. Yeah. And really all it got me was like a... 5% discount. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. But yeah, so no, Waste, Waste, Wasteland game is good and Wasteland 2 is on Switch. I, I started, I got it yesterday and I started a new save file. I haven't done anything. All I did was go to character creation and create my squad. My squad consists of Lex, Jules, Arthur, <laughs> and Neri. <laughs> oh, yeah. That warms my little goth heart. I'm glad. I'm glad. Got my, um, uh... Wasteland 3 run is comprised of Utah Carroll and another character I like to card out on every now and again, Jackie Daniels. <laughs> Utah Carroll is um, incredibly tall, very charismatic, really Definitely good. Definitely not a self insert. <laughs> that takes care of that. Yeah. Definitely, certainly not a self insert because I just decided to rename him because I'm like, he's departing more and more from my personality as time goes on. 
I feel you there. Lexington but, was originally a self-insert, yeah. but boy, how she ain't no more. Ooh. Miri, but, Miri uh, was my self. Miri was my self-insert. Um, she, she, there's some aspects of her I can see in you. Yeah, she's a little bit over the top, but but anyway, sorry. She's, go on, Ranger Ding. She's you know, me, but cooler. <laughs> the cooler me. The, the cooler Vex. Me, Vex. Vex. The cooler, the cooler Vex. Vex. Also, I don't know if you heard me, but hi, Albert. My friend Albert is in the chat. Hello, Albert. Howdy. Alb. Bort. Elbow. We Bort. call him. We call him Bort. 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 But um, yeah, no, Utah Carroll, Jackie Daniels, and then um, man, my next run, I'm probably gonna do the same, uh, the same two characters, but I want to have all custom characters beside that. Because right now I'm just using like the defaults to fill holes in the squad. Because Utah Carroll is really good with rifles and submachine guns, as well as talking his way through situations with the stat called Kiss Ass. <laughs> in two, you have Kiss Ass, Smart Ass, and Hard Ass. One is smartly figuring out a way through a situation. The other is mo uh, like sm schmoozing your way through, and the other is being a dick. Yeah. They've decided to combine smart ass and kiss ass in three. That's going off again. Oh, let me get my bread. Keep talking. So, they they that that was one of the things they did was a lot of stream streamlining where it needed to happen. Because mm -hmm. you had to have in wasteland two you had to have separate stats and level them up differently for bladed and blunt weapons. But then also for like punching weapons like melee weapons. Yeah. It, it's. It, it was it was kind of ridiculous, and I, I get the, I get it, but it's like, man, Deus, Deus Ex has its time. We we don't need we I don't need to be J C Denton again in every RPG I play. It, it gets it gets a little old, <laughs> as much as I love it. But um, but Jackie Daniels to get to her character is incredibly intimidating, really good with handguns and explosives, and. Inexplicably, because I needed to have somebody be good at it, but nobody else was. She hacks computers. <laughs> <laughs> so, because it's like I, I kept coming across computers I couldn't get into. I'm like, well, somebody's got to be able to do this. But um, now they they've been um, the, the basic plot line is Arizona is a shit show, so. There's like a gigantic AI that's pumping out robots after robots, and it is impossible to get away from them. So the Arizona Rangers, the Desert Rangers, send a detachment of their own unit up to Colorado to meet with a man called the Patriarch, mm -hmm. who has promised foreign aid in exchange for assistance with a domestic problem because he has three kids that are all genuine psychopaths. <laughs> Uh, one that has become like a raider queen. I love her. She's done nothing wrong. Uh, there's another who becomes a genuine like drug-addled psychopath and takes over Aspen. Oh my God, she's so tiny. <laughs> she's little. She's five foot two. Jules is baby. Baby. But um, then there's another one that went and joined up with that that Reagan cult called the Gippers. And is trying to help them transplant their uh, their god presence AI into a body. Yeah, it's fun. It, the the game the game is so good. I mean, it it really it, you know sometimes like I wish I wish it was just New Vegas, but at the same time it's its own thing and that's really good. And it it, it does have a lot of depth and nuance, and you do have a lot of choices with how you handle things. Yeah. Which is which is nice. There's always like a many different ways of doing things. Yeah, like both. Both via like physical mechanics, but also interaction via com uh, conversations. And since you have a squad of six, you can spec your characters pretty broadly, so you can handle a lot of different situations. Yeah, it, it's really emphasizing. Whereas the modern like Bethesda fall like Fallout games emphasize you, the main character. Oh! And, uh, oh! Ah! Stab in the back. Man, why would you do this to the NCR? They have the sickest aesthetic in the entire wasteland. Shut no. They have the most practical clothing for this whole entire environment. This ranger with like his big ass rifle gets knifed to death. Yeah. To be fair, that, that lever action ain't gonna do shit within five feet there, so. What's uh what's the always sunny episode where 
Mac has the, the sword. Mac has what? Spent five thousand dollars on the samurai sword. <laughs> Who spent five thousand caps on a shish kebab? <laughs> Let's see what these boys are doing. Mm -hmm. If it was a mare's leg, possibly. But also, if somebody's rolling up on me with a machete at that range, I'm just beating them to shit with my fucking metal stick. Either that or I have a handgun. Put a bolt in their liver. Like, that, that's the other thing that I find interesting about our game, these games. I understand why. I completely understand why, because this engine's a shit show and doesn't work. <laughs> But almost nobody has, like, sidearms. Almost everybody has, like, a rifle or a handgun or, like, a shotgun or some laser thing. But nobody ever has, like, a backup pistol or anything or a backup knife. Except the player character. Yeah. The player character is, like, the only person who knows it's, like, within certain tactical situations, I might not need to use my sniper rifle. I thought there's mods that fix that. Possibly, but what, what else do they break within the engine? <laughs> We'll find out. This is on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, like, the holdout weapons... Like... It, it, it's interesting. And the other it's thing so is, I don't care how the to understand, like, small arms, like... I, I guess you can call it tactics. Well, but, tactics. As well as, like, most people do. Like... But, I don't know, I don't know. It, it, it's just weird to me playing games, it's just like, Oh wow, you rolled up on the sniper, he can't do anything. It's like, why wouldn't he have a pistol? Why wouldn't he have a big fuck huge knife? Two long guns, two I handguns, melee weapon. Did it, we're in Novak! I love Novak. Go tell that bitch to stand in front of the dinosaur. <laughs> the one who looks like Ted Cruz? <laughs> that's her. That's Ted Cruz's descendant. <laughs> oh no! Like the blobfish the, genes are like too he, strong. He had the urge to kill, just like the Zodiac killer. Oh man! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Just like the Zodiac killer. Well, mid murder. Wow. What is she? Pisces. Damn! Just like him. <laughs> what? Who's a Pisces? I don't know. <laughs> what, was her name? what was the wife's name again? Clara? No, it was... Uh, what was her name? I forget her name because... Um, what was... What was what, Carla. What was dead wife? Carla, I was close. Oh, yes. Carla. I, I forget her name because Boone's angsting over it completely overshadows it. Yeah, I, I don't like care for Boone. Yeah. I, I like Boone because he helps me kill Legion. He kills good. He has a good he, he perk. He kills really good. He kills good. He has a good perk. He kills good, That's, so I keep him well, around when I'm playing. I keep him around when I'm playing my sniper character. But a lot of the times, I'm just like, she wouldn't want to have a partner. Um. Yeah. So. But, uh, uh, but God, like, you. if I if I feel like I need one, I I play him with Faye. This just reminds me of those like TikToks I've seen where it's like. Uh, six foot people getting out of bed, and it's just like normal perspective getting out of bed. <laughs> and it's like uh, five eleven guys getting out of bed, and it's like a they, they grab the phone, they put it on the floor, and it runs over the bed, uh, the door, and has to jump up to the handle. <laughs> Hi, talk to me about your dead wife. NCR, you're an enemy of Tell me. Uh, I was gonna say when it comes to dead wifing, I feel like um, uh, uh, Boone is is not great, but he could be so much worse when you look at the dead wifing in Fallout 4 that's done with like literally oh, zero uh -huh. storyline and a character arc around his dead wife and lore that fits fits into it and a whole quest line mystery that you have to solve. Like there's there there is a lot that goes around this. She's yeah. not just my wife is dead and makes me sad. Let's go fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, th that's the other thing about these games, is, here, here's, here's how I view it. I think 90% of games that have romance mechanics horribly handle it. Fallout 4 being one of the worst thereof. Mm -hmm. Oh god, yeah. there's the most egregious, egregious examples of romance in a video game being done in the dumbest, most shallow way possible. I hate it. it. It is so bad. And the fact Moira? is, it's like... <laughs> yeah, you know, Moira. Moira. 
Oh, I'm sorry. oh you're talking to your cat. My cat. I, I was thinking of the fact that Irish woman. No, no, I was talking to my cat. I'm sorry. I named my cat after Moira Rose on Schitt's Creek. <laughs> yeah, not, not after the, the crackhead fist fighter in Fallout 4, the best character? No, I named yeah. her because I didn't ever meet her in Fallout 4, and but I have watched yeah. Schitt's Creek like three times. I came across her because it was just like somebody in Diamond City told me like don't go to Battle Zone. I was like, I'll go to fucking Battle Zone, fuck you. And then they all tried to shoot at me and I killed them back. There was not there there was nothing there but people to kill. Yeah. And Moira. So stupid. I got butt mad when I handed a bum a Nuku Cola because it's like, yeah, I got like eighty of these. He's like, Don't do that, we could use that. It's like we got eighty. I don't need all these. You think they implemented these systems with any hint of subtlety? Well, they, they looked at what those god-awful Telltale games did, like... God, you're right. Ten years prior, and they're like, Oh, we should do that! And then they did it, and they did it just as bad. Because it's like, character will remember this, or character dislike that. It's like... I think there's a combination of that and trying to ape Mass Effect. That, too. You're never going to be Mass Effect. No one's ever going to be Mass Effect. Like, Mass Effect has very similar relationship dynamics, but at least you have to do, like, real quests for them. Yeah. In most cases. It's and not it's just like, pick enough locks and then we can smash. Yeah. It, it's not just... Yeah, it's not just busy work. That's what it is. Like... That's all, all our relationships are, Ranger. Just busy work. <laughs> to be fair, I did win you over with the fact that I had working air conditioning in my car. That's true. That's true. I wouldn't be together with Ranger today if it wasn't for the working air conditioning in his car at Wasteland Weekend. Yeah. The one car with AC in that whole joint. You still there, Vex? Yeah. Y'all were just oh, talking. Okay. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, no worries. No, you're good. No, but, um... No, it's, it's just so sad to see that, like, in whenever Fallout 5... In, like... I don't know where the fuck they're gonna set that. I'm dreading... Atlanta or die! <laughs> like, I wanna they, be if mad. Even, if current Bethesda even touches... The actual canon of Fallout because I don't I, I don't, don't see them too. I don't want them to. Three and four are not canon. Yeah, you could just forget about those. But if they tried to set something in the Southwest or the West Coast, I would I would personally commit harm against Todd Howard. What watch as they do like ha ha Fallout, but it's in like Texas. And we're gonna make fun of Texans. And they're gonna be like they're gonna be like yeah no we don't need uh, look at them they have all these guns. It's like yeah because the post apocalyptic environment kind of like. Super need it then, bro. <laughs> it's Texas. <laughs> What's the worst? What is the worst plot for Fallout Five we can imagine if Bethesda was writing it? Okay, so it's taking place in Texas. What is the main conflict? Brother Steel is there. Brother Steel is there because of course Brother Steel is there. Yeah, they're there. Um, and they they're like, we need oil to power our experimental <laughs> oil. The game crashed. Power. Oh, what the fuck? The game, game crashed. crashed. Oh, there's crash. Nice. Game crashed. We have done it. We have the Fallout New Vegas experience. You haven't experienced it until it dies. Hope you left. Yeah. Oh, Nate, I've been taking shots this whole time. Mm. Well, it's getting close to ten anyway. I and I'm an old lady. That's true. We should probably um... should probably wrap up. Let me grab that fic link for y'all. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. The epistolary fic. Yo, it's so good though. Ranger, it's so good. Me. I'm so proud of it. And like I said, got me a job. Yeah, yeah there you go. Certified job getting fic. <laughs> but let's see. Worst Fallout setting. It could be Texas. Um, I like the oil angle for Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, they they need to get oil because fusion cells last 10 seconds for some <laughs> reason. Hated that fucking mechanic. And then, okay, so then the, 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 the local faction is uh, the Alamoers, but the only thing that makes them Alamo-themed is that, like, occasionally they wear cowboy hats. And yeah. that's it. There's nothing else that makes them Texas-themed. Then you have, like... Uh, not Caesar's Legion because they're Aztec this time. No, that 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 could potentially be interesting, Don. You have to tone it down. Um, not Caesar's Legion, but they're MS thirteen this time. No, <laughs> you can't have not Caesar's Legion. 
We need we need no, something. They're, they're gonna be like the worst take of Caesar's Legion. Remember the Gunners, whose cool quirky backstory was that they have guns. <laughs> we need something that tier. <laughs> I didn't even remember the Gunners until you mentioned them. <laughs> they're called Gunners. They have guns. That's all they do. They have military theme. I'm like great. So does like ninety percent of the factions in this. <laughs> we have guns. These dudes are just green. <laughs> Fuck it. Just make it super mutants again. Make it No, make Make it the enclave again. Make it the enclave again. Oh yeah, no, the gunners. No, let's make it the enclave again. And and it's like the second robot president. Yeah, there's another president. Yeah, no, there's like a, a robot president of texas or something because we we've got to take we we got to pull shocking twists at the 11th hour which is really like the halfway point of the game so so follow for plagiarize blade runner and snatcher what other hideo kojima uh property how are they going to uh, plagiarize um what about uh, norman reedus and Riding with oh, God, you they have to this. pull something in Death Stranding for so so you're a oh, not, they're... person in 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 Fall no, Alive. No, yes. no, worse. What? They're gonna plagiarize The Walking Dead. Oh God. There's gonna be more ghouls per capita. No, no, okay. And and, and somebody's gonna be there, and his name is like Schmerl, and it's supposed to be like loosely like all he uses is a crossbow. Sure. Because. But that's not a Kojima property. No, but. What's his ass is there? Norman Reedus. Sure, there, there's a there's a Daryl character that they blatantly steal, but otherwise you're a courier and you have to deliver packages between isolated landscapes, and there's like deadly nuclear rain that you have to avoid. So okay, they're stealing Death Stranding. They okay, but we need we need somebody on the tier of the Gunners. Maybe they're called the Shooters. The sh. They shoot guns. Oh God, <laughs> I'm thinking of something that's like vaguely. Like, they'll play them up as, like, some sort of weird militia thing. It's like, aren't they all weird militias? But <laughs> but they're they're no different from any other Te- Crazy Texas robot millionaire. Like, that would be too cool. That's that, almost interesting. So you have if, to they, if they have, like, a Doug Dimodome robot, that'd be too fun. But they're not going to do that. What if it, yeah, no, yeah, no, what if it was just Mexicans? Oh, my God, yes. The, well, how do you say gunners in Spanish? <laughs> And they all just dressed like uh, fucking like stereotypical '90s uh, Hispanic gang uh, gangbangers. God, that or they all have like ponchos and giant sombreros. <laughs> yeah, it would be like that tier stereotype. But um. No, no ideas for this horrible thing, Vex. You good? Yeah, I I don't have anything. Right, Soaking y'all... in the. I don't know enough about Texas to say anything. You don't need to know anything about Texas. We're talking about Bethesda here. You think they give a shit? No, I have to I have to know the rules to be able to break them. You think they care? The less you know, the better you can make lore for this. Man, they, I don't know. There's a there's a the fucking, um there's a barbecue merchant with the worst brisket you'll ever have. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> See, uh, I, I would say there's a cannibal barbecue pit, but Wasteland 3 did that better already. Oh, yeah. And it's hilarious, because you just stumbled the fuck across it. Um, ah, shit, I had a good one. For Fallout 5? Yes. So, so the main... Fallout 5 Tejas or something. How does the main character's wife die in Fallout 5? <laughs> rattlesnake. <laughs> there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> yeah, there's a rattlesnake in her boot. She gets bit and dies. So the, the main character has to be pursuing a family member. So let's say... Looking for his, the, the, their the, daughter the gender, instead of their son. The opposite one gets kidnapped, and they have to go save that one now. There you go. Perfect. Because finding family member has not been played out with them Fallout. Or, or the wife they is were, kidnapped. They were, their dog. They were, <laughs> That'd be great. They were kidnapped but, by rattlesnakes. <laughs> Please, mutant rattlesnakes. But okay, yes, dog meat again has to be in this. But um, 
No, your wife gets kidnapped, Talk. and there's 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 no plot line or decisions you can make that get that have her live. She always gets killed. Yeah, and it's always at like the 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 most anticlimactic point. Like you you find out. Like, I remember finding it like Kellogg was mad old, and that was like in like the first third of the game. God, I'm still mad they referenced the NCR and fucking Fallout Four. How fucking dare they! Like, don't, e- don't even act like they're connected. These are totally disconnected. Fucking Bethesda's based on the East Coast. And they couldn't even get any of the shit right, like, culturally. They, they There's so many cool things they could have done with Boston. And they did, they did, they utilized the environment literally zilch. The Minutemen are called the Minutemen, and they wear tricorns occasionally and have laser muskets. And that's literally it for the theming. There's if, if, nothing else to take them. Why would you even use laser muskets? They're the shittest energy weapons in the game. Oh, God, everything with Fall 4 makes me mad. Like, anyway. I, I like the idea of laser muskets. I, I The one thing I like, one of the one things I liked about Fall 4, it had a lot of really good singular ideas. This I weren't developed. I like the Wasteland guns. Where they were pipe guns, the pipe guns with yeah. like two by fours holding them together and some wire. That's cool. That's actually world building. I might faint. Yeah. The laser muskets is like, yeah, we can't make a repeating rifle out of this. So we have a <laughs> we have a fucking crank. And it's like, that's neat. Um like even the power armor requiring you to like put it on. It's not just like pants. You can't just put them on. Yeah. It's a suit of armor you need to hop into. And and it negating fall damage and yeah. then having them having some more vertical environments. Like there is some ideas that are cool, but then they don't use them. Like where does negating fall damage actually come in handy in or, the game? Or the fact that you have fucking the first suit of power armor within the first ten seconds of playing the game. Oh I- and then you can't use it for the next ten hours. Uh it's like now I hate it when games do that, man. Never mind the fact that the minigun is worthless against that death claw. God, fucking sorry, I'm just getting mad. We need this to. This is just like on. this is just like turning into a podcast now. It is. It really is. We could make we could make like a 20 hour podcast about how much this sucks. How, how much we hate Todd Howard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably the only person in this room that's only bought Skyrim once. I haven't bought it at all. I bought it twice. Cuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I bought it once. I bought it used. Tom Howard didn't see a single cent out of me. I had a good reason for buying it twice. I bought it a second time for Xbox 360 so it would have the Kinect integration, but that was solely because at the time I had a friend who was blind and he was interested in like Elder Scrolls lore because he had he had audiobooks of the novels and stuff and I was talking to him about it. So I got the game with the Kinect integration so he could sit beside me and and shout the commands as I played and told him about the game. Honestly, if you, if you told him the whole of Elder Scrolls lore, I'm quite certain he'd be able to see. <laughs> no, right. see, he was already god tier because he knew everything about Tolkien lore. So. <laughs> oh, oh. So what you're saying is that you played this game in absolute fucking Chad. <laughs> yeah, John was pretty cool actually. I need to check up with him and see what he's up to. But okay. um, yeah, I'm no, gonna, he's really I'm gonna cool stop guy. the stream. Yeah, come on, everyone. Bye, read our fic. <laughs> I'm just going to read the Read our fic, or I'm going to remind you again about it next week. Yep, to next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Nice. Bat time, bat channel.